Two, one's just a fail safe. Don't get spooked out. Um, I'm here just to support these guys in the house. So I'm just going to be, we're going to be in the background. So, you know, it's not a. Like, is this like a good No, 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 I just came from the state's attorney for financial understanding in this case. And I had um, over an hour of time to talk to him about this case. So this is your this is coming from him. Okay. This is your chance. Right now you're charged with entering prosecution and tampering with evidence. Okay. This is your chance if you want to see your family and your daughter your mother and not get charged with murder. This is your chance. And it's your one and only chance. You have to tell us. We know you weren't there. We know you were lying to us last time. We want to know who was involved and where Jennifer is. Who was involved in the disappearance of Jennifer Dulles and who and where Jennifer Dulles is right now. We know you know. And we just want you to come clean and tell us everything that you know. That's coming straight from the state's account. You want to be able to make that. Okay. Okay. She understands that she lived her right to us every day and still in the basket. But still in the You're talking to us voluntarily. You don't have to talk to us. You're here. You're not in custody. Um, or you're in your attorney's office. In the court. He's our other way to She She understands that she's going to answer your questions truthfully. Okay. okay. Um, we may all have different views of what she knows, but she's going to answer your questions truthfully. Okay. okay. So you you wanted to talk to us today, right? Well, you guys wanted to talk. All right. Okay. Yes. So tell us everything you know about the night of May twenty third, going into the morning of May twenty fourth, and the disappearance of Jennifer Douglas from her home in New Canaan. Okay, okay. Just tell them yeah, from Thursday night, they're asking you yeah. through Friday. Okay. Yeah. I might not be accurate with the time. As best you can. Yeah. Best you can. Uh, but my daughter called me. The room of my daughter is. You guys be in the house for me. We, we personally have not, but we understand. Yeah. Right. The, uh, the room, it's once you get up the stairs. And then, I don't know, we walk three meters. And All right, Jennifer, I'm just going to stop here. Just for some I'm just going to stop here. I mean, it's okay, but I can't go faster. Too. No. <laughs> you know that we've done search warrants, executed search warrants at Fort Jefferson in Farmington, right? And then you are inside the house looking for things. Right. Yes. And that's where you live? <coughs> yes. Fort Jefferson Crossing? Yes. And you live there with Otis Dulles? And your daughter Nicole. And your daughter Nicole. Yes. And how old is Nicole? Twelve. Okay. Um, you have to understand that we have more information than we had last time we spoke. Okay. Okay. So do you remember when we talked about how we felt that you were going through a list or a script? Yes. Okay. We found that piece of paper, those papers. Yes. Okay. We don't need to go through those. We need to know. What do you know about what happened to Jennifer Dulles okay. on the 24th of May and where her body is? We have enough information right now for photos for murder. Okay. Right now, you are not arrested for murder. He's not arrested for murder. You both are arrested for tampering with evidence yes. and, and entering prosecution. Yes. In all likelihood, he will be arrested for murder. You need to tell us what you know. This is coming from the state's attorney. Just listen. You need to tell us what you know about Jennifer's murder mm -hmm. and photo stools. We know that you weren't there at the murder scene mm -hmm. at the time. We know you have information. 
And we need to know that. We do not want to go through. Listen to me. We don't want to go through the script because we found the script. And if we start to review the script, the rehearsed story that we found documentation of, our instructions from the state's attorney are to walk out that door. And when we walk out that door, that will be it. This is coming from the state's attorney. So please tell them, I want to hear the script. I want to hear what happened to Jennifer. And I want to hear who's involved in her murder. I don't know. But can I say something that upset to me? I'm not upset. I just want you to understand what you're saying. When you say rehearsal, it's not a rehearsal. It's Sunday. Okay, you'll have, you'll have a chance. You found a piece of paper that mirrors your statement to us. We don't want to talk about that. We want to talk about it. Just come back. Let me try it. But. What he's asking you is to tell them what you did, what you heard, what you saw, what you knew okay, from Thursday night. Thursday night, I went to sleep with my daughter. I woke up at the same time that I usually woke up, besides on Thursday. He was there Thursday. Yes. He was there all night. Did you leave? Well, I left the room at 12.59 because there was thunderstorm. My daughter called me, you guys have my phone, and you can see that I talked to my daughter. Well, we can see that we, we may have talked to your daughter, but we can also see that there were thunderstorms. Before I, I, don't, that, I don't know the thunderstorms. It was raining. You said thunderstorms. I know, but... There was almost zero precipitation that evening. You, okay. I just, I just want you to know. Okay. I'm just gonna pause the video at six minutes and 49 seconds. Detective Kimball, you indicated to the defendant that there was zero precipitation that evening. Um, where did you get that information? Got that from two sources. I got that from weatherunderground.com and timeanddate.com, two websites on historical weather. And what area was that historical? Well, beginning with Weather Underground, what area of Connecticut were you researching? I was researching Farmington. And um, what area did it display? It displayed uh, weather from Brainerd airport in Hartford, which is approximately 24 miles to the northeast. Okay, with respect to time and date? Oh, I'm sorry, uh, 2019, May 24, uh, at approximately uh, between midnight and one o'clock in the morning. Okay, um, and so did you, uh, well, let me ask you this, were you trying to be deceptive with her or was this the best information that you had at the time? I was not trying to be deceptive, that was the information I had at the time. Okay. Thank you, sir. We're checking out every aspect that we can of your story, and your story has some significant problems. Okay. Okay. So, my you daughter, and your daughter? My daughter called me at 12.59, I believe. Um, okay. So, you slept and with, with Nicole that night? And I slept with her until 6.40, yes, at alarm. When you left the bed, the focus was he there in the bed? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, at... One o'clock, one o'clock in the morning, you went in with the cold. Yes. Okay. And then go ahead and get I slept with her. Her alarm and mine are set up. At, I think hers is at six thirty-five. Mine for sure, six forty. Mm -hmm. I woke up. She takes showers. I go to my room. I also do the same thing. He was there. He was there when we woke up. He was there at the house. He was in the house. Okay. So well, what if I were to tell you that I have evidence that he was not in the house at that time? Okay. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't want to be over dramatic. I don't want to. This is not this is not any kind of threat. I just want you to understand. You have a daughter who's 12 years old. You have a mother holding your mom. Okay. All right. You want to see that, right? You don't want to go to prison. I don't want to get arrested for her. Okay. All right, let's try to let's try to have people show you you got you got released from the court, right? But you want to know. Have you looked at the news at all? Have you seen your face plastered on I'll be honest with you, you're probably one of the most hated women in America right now. And I'm not being mean. So that's how they're this is like the golden ticket. If you know where he could have done something and could have worn your frequency, if you could tip us off. 
Maybe he said something in jest, something in passing that you can say, you know what? That rings a bell. Maybe. All right. Look, let me try to. Uh, okay. If you want to know um, where he uh, frequents, where the possibilities are that he could have done something, we have spent time in doing that. But, you know, I want to. You're. You're asking her about that morning, mm -hmm. um, and I think she understands, you know, what she's facing. Um, are you sure that Fotis was there that morning when you woke up? Well, I slept with Nicole, so I believe he was, but now that you tell me he wasn't, he wasn't. Did you see him that morning? No, I did not see him. Like, I think Michelle, like, that helps us. It does. That's huge. Okay. So stuff like that. Okay. That's what right. Einstein was looking for. Yeah. Right. Remember, he right. was for certain he was there the other day. Well, because we take almost everything. Okay. Right. So like, I get right. paranoid because it's not like okay. well, if you tell me what I do, like yeah. even on Monday, I was trying to do the timeline and I couldn't think like what happened on Monday. Okay. So and, Let's take a breath here, yes. okay? You're in my office, okay. all right? I want you to just tell the truth and relax, all right? Can I, can I just cut the chase here? Do you know where she is and can you please tell us or at least lead us in the right direction? Know. I don't know, but I... And then we can worry about the other stuff later, because right now we need to find Jeff. Okay, I don't know, but... Can we see what you have? Yes. Yeah, perfect. Yes. perfect. Just right. we're going to take away from all that. Okay. All right. Um, all right, this is... Uh, she's done two drawings here, okay? And uh, the first... Uh, the one on the left side um, is a drawing of where they used to go motorcycling. In the back of the house. In the back of the house. Oh, for the yeah. Jefferson Crossing. Okay. Okay. So. Can I explain? Absolutely. We discovered this road last year. Mm -hmm. These are like the tower electricity. Mm -hmm. And this is the. You told me that uh, environmental protection probably environmental that protection. Just tell them what you know. So we go with the motos. We go into this route. Where's Fort Jefferson? This this house. Okay, so this, this is, is Jefferson Crossing. Yes, oh, I, I, I'm missing one now. I see. This is the trampoline, the playground. Okay, so you're right out of Fort Jefferson. In the back, uh, we go through the back of these two houses. This guy's upset because we're not supposed to go right there. We know, we know which one. Okay. Uh, Gerard, no? So we get to the gravel, we go, go, go. At some point, we get out mm -hmm. because there's like another road yeah. for vehicles that are supposed to be around this. And then we go, like, there's like a trail that is made by people doing mountain bike, walking, mm -hmm. the dogs, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Motos are not allowed. And we go, and this is like more trees and more off-road. Mm -hmm. Then we go, 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 go. There's a little stream, we pass that, and this becomes like an open field. Mm -hmm. That here, there's a reservoir, because one time we kept going, and we saw it, and we turned back, because mm -hmm. the police saw us, you know? And then, we go back and we go here and we go back to the gravel and into the house. Okay. That we started doing it last year. Uh, around September we discovered. I am not 100%, but more or less. And the last time we went for two times, we've done a different road. Once we get here, if there's, this is an open field. Again, this becomes trees. There's a row of houses here. We go, we do moto, and then this is 44, and then we go back on 44 to Jefferson because if we come this way, he gets up. So this is an area that you're familiar with, and that photos is familiar with, you're telling me? Yes, but familiar at the most 15 yeah. times. All right, so I see it says 15 times. Yes. This is 
two times. There are one that is longest. And one and in these two times there's one that was another pig. Because you cross 44, there's like a plant. So two different things, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> ask you, as far as this piece of paper goes, um, Michelle, why are you showing us this? When we're asking you about Jennifer Douglas, why are you showing us this? Because Andy said, is there anything else where you usually go with this or you do things? And I said, well, we go walk. I mean, the pond is like the place where we go with most. Uh, uh, the day one. Yes, that's okay. where we go at, from so here to the end uh, when the competition uh, came up the pond, which is at the end of September. We pretty much, if the days are pretty, we go almost every day. Do you know if you or Fotis went to this area around the 24th of May? No, I mean, no. You didn't. Do you know if Fotis did? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't know. Okay. The last time I went with Fotis, it was like about three weeks ago in Babel. Mm -hmm. Like three day, three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And you all went riding your motorcycles? Each. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just out of curiosity, do you, do you guys normally have your cell phones with you? Uh, I mean, I do because of Nicole, the yeah, Uh, no, I think he lives there. Does he normally, I mean, he has that business right there for him. That's his yeah. business. He owns it. Is he like the, the owner or the top of the... Yeah, I don't understand right, that, But yes. I mean, that's his business. Phone the 8625 network, does he usually carry that phone? It does his cell phone, which is the same one from the company. Does he usually have the phone with him? Yes. But okay. I don't know writing because I'm the one who takes a back. How about water skiing? Does he usually carry it? Is it yes. on the boat? The tell is on the boat when he water skis. Okay. Who's in the boat? Forty is it? The, the, the phone is with ah, the boat. Yes, so yes. He yes, yes. keeps it with him a lot, right? Yes. Because that's his business phone. 8625. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, so you're showing this just because this is an area that you yeah. and Fotis are, are familiar with, where yes. the Fotis is familiar with. And this asks me, tell me please, where do you usually frequently go or spend time? So I told him, well, the pond, one, mm -hmm. this we've done, and then the lots. Okay, what's this? What's this? So this is how I was explaining. These are, or, these are the lots that she has previously told yeah. you about. You know, why don't you explain what this is, okay? So, at the upper left. Well, four room or four days, he owns 585 Deer Cliff, mm -hmm. which is like 100 meters from Jefferson Crossing. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a teardown. This is a lot that is for sale. Mm -hmm. Then Deer Cliff, I was explaining how it becomes like Eli Bro. Mm -hmm. He... He, with his Stefan, um, that is from Cold Wall Bank, he's a, a realtor and a friend. Stefan is a realtor? Stefan yes. Rage. Okay. Uh, uh, this, uh, I think yesterday, the day before, I passed by and I didn't, sa saw the, I didn't see the signs anymore. But, uh, there were signs of poor group because the, the way Fotis arranged with some people that has lots is that, well, let's make a package for the MLS. And the package with the house, and if they buy the package with doing a project of building a home, I do the home and the lot so is your force of why lots you're saying. Well, I don't know if there's more, but I, from but what I remember it's four. Okay. So they're in this corner, and you can call so, Stefan Rach and ask him. So that's how the reason the uh area is here. This is the mountain spring here. Well, Mountain Spring is this room, which is Amina's. Isn't that, isn't that a little, it's a little cul-de-sac, right? There's a couple houses already, and there's a, Where? that area you're talking about. This one? There's yeah. no construction here, so I'm like... Okay. So. What road is that? It's, it's, it's in, the uh, in, in, in Old Mountain, mountain Spring. Old Mountain Spring. So now... Yeah, old, old Mountain Road. Old mountain. Mountain. No, when you were there that day with Fullis, you told us you were there in the home. No, that's here. Yeah, no. Okay. okay. Can we just finish this draw? Can we mind? Alright, so. So then, Old Mountain Road, mm -hmm. 
there's other three lots of uh, the owner is called Mr. Godfrey. He lives here with his wife. And at some point, with T Leaf, which is another realtor, broker, or whatever, real estate, they arrange the same thing that if they sell a project with four group, four group deals, and the lot is of the owner. And there's three lots here. But this, I think about a month ago, the country, the owner, gave it to the son that's also a realtor. So, four group has nothing to do anymore. With his three. So is Mr. But Godfrey got... three lots? It's on Old Mountain Road? Yes. Okay. And it's how far away is it from from these? Mm. In car. Can is there a is there a crossroad? This there's this is near a crossroad. Is there what is this near, do you know, or do you know the address from Mr. Godfrey? Mm. Okay. You can call Prop Shufria. Which is from tea leaf. What's tea leaf? It's a so it's like a it's a yeah, yeah. like whole bank. Okay. Or uh, it's a trip. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, some other. So then this is Mountain Spring Road, but you have Typho Road. Well, this is longer, but I don't remember. So Mr. Juan, he's a doctor. Also had these three lots and did the same with all this, but this sold like three weeks ago. Uh, a guy came and bought the whole three lots, supposedly. Well, he, he was frequenting those lots for this, so that's just lots that you know. Oh, so I've, I've walked this, like, I walked this lot maybe like three or two weeks ago with the people that bought them. That, that yeah. the couple came. The, husband and the wife and we walked all the way up because he wanted to see the highest point to build a home and not be around like other homes so I uh, guess we the four of us we walked this but that was my only time that I walked this particular lot this one I've never walked this one I've walked them like probably like five times with different clients <coughs> Um, then there's like a lot in between, or I don't know what, and then these three lots belongs to Fotis, but in 80 it's the house. The, That's 80, 80, 40, 80. Yes. This one he just sold it to the Alonis, which one? The 88. Alonis. They did a deposit of 50,000. They were working on the drawing. I met with him. I saw him on Thursday, the 23rd, in the office around 3. And I left because I had to pick up Nicole, but they were talking about the budget with the Fotis and B. Fotis built this home in 77, that people are living there already. And then there's another cool de sac called Old Cut. That's all I was thinking of. Okay, Fotis just sold this lot to the owner of Seven Cent that apparently he bought it to build a home for his son, but Fotis has, and from what I know, he has nothing to do with that construction because Meta, Meta, Metaphor, I think it's a little correct. There are builders as well, so he's building the house for the sun. So all these places I've walked besides not this but the rest I've walked with Fotis. I've even driven my motorcycle around here in the past. In the north. Probably something a lot of talking about these locations. Especially the you know, water property. Have, have you guys when you guys are back there dirt parking or going for walks or anything, has he ever made any any, any any comments? Hey this is a good place to this is some private back here. Is this, yeah. you know, has he ever made any comments yeah, about like a paradise, for you. paradise or, hey, if you're going to kill someone, I'd throw them back here. It's a little bit of fun. Yeah. You know, just under the same things in joke. Okay. Yeah. All right. We talked that this is a paradise for a motorcycle. Obviously, we knew that it's kind of illegal because you're not supposed to ride there. But it was like. Okay. All right. So, I just want to ask my question. 
You you can't say that you saw footage from the moment you walked woke up until about one two o'clock in the afternoon on the day of the twenty fourth, correct? Yes. Based on what you told us, so that you in my mind, not your mind, he you corrected me. I thought because that's right. how it is daily based. He was in the office. But you you don't but know for a fact you didn't see. No, okay. I did not. It's a large hole. So, so when you did see photos that day. Stop, stop the video at 2401. Detective, the defendant just indicated to you that she did not see folks in the office. Is that correct? Correct. What had she told you on June 2nd about seeing folks in the office? She said that she went to the, uh, went to the office and she saw a meeting between Kent Maweni and Fotis Dulos. She saw him. Morning. You know, a little bit before because we had a uh, lunch. Lunch, but I remember from the other day when you when I spoke that you would say it was sometime between one and two. Yes, but then again, I don't have my phone, so I did receive a call from him at one fifty. What was it? It's somewhere in the paper, fifty three or fifty seven. So obviously, we need to call. But what you gave us your attorney, you didn't have your phone. Right? No, the okay. phone was taken away. So, I got an AT&T, I got into it. We're asking kind of like general questions, like, is he there or not? But you really shouldn't need your phone to remember after that. It was for us to have half. Was he in the shower with you or not? No. Good morning, that's what you're saying. We're not meaning to pin you down at times. I know. Well, maybe he wasn't. Maybe his buddy wasn't, right? No, he wasn't. I'll tell you, because I'm so used to taking showers with him in my mind. When I'm nervous. Okay, well, well, I'm trying to get to a point. Okay. And my point is, is that when, when you're eventually at the other properties with folks, he, he's out doing something. How would, just explain to us honestly how much you really did or didn't see what he was doing or where he was. Because we, we've already determined that initially, whether you were meant to be or not, you were untruthful with us about where Flores was and what you knew. Okay? I'm not saying you were lying, I'm just saying that the information you've now come forward that. You didn't really know what you were saying you did that. So when, when he was walking around the property where you guys were, which was what? Mountain Spring? You mean Mountain Spring? Uh, you mean here? Yes. 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 Did you really see what he was doing I, I or no? Not, I saw him six <coughs> ribbons. There were like pink ribbons okay. that he covers so people don't step. Because when they do the open houses, people park in the grass and he gets upset. Did you see him for... A handful of hours, or no? Was because minutes? I wasn't there. I wasn't there three hours. I was just there for a period of time. I went inside to clean, and I actually was upset because I'm like, I don't want to clean this house, but I always get upset. I get grumpy of doing something that I don't want to do. Okay. And I went up. I saw the counter, like, and I even told um, Andy. There were like not poop, but something of an animal, like in front of the fireplace. No, and I went in and I cleaned it. So I was inside the house. And then I would go out to talk because the receptions in all this area, you have to look, even in the house in Je for Jefferson to talk, the best is what's up. Or in the end of Foti's office, or in the kitchen, or outside in the garage. So I'm usually walking around places to mm -hmm. find. So we saw us off in, in the wood line? Or in the, you know, the backwoods of these areas, doing stuff other than motorcycling, or no, but we were motorcycling. I think. I'm just saying like, other than you suggested. Does he often go for walks? Or he he likes gardening, like in Jefferson. He's all the time doing gardening. Okay. Picking up, like even I think it was Monday that I told you. But what the detective is asking. That day. What the detective was asking you I, is, are there areas around um, Spring or anywhere that he likes to go, mm -hmm. in addition to the motorbike area? Mm -hmm. If we go motor here, me, myself, have done it a couple of times in these two lots, but no, I mean, I don't know if he has another place that I don't know, but with me, no. Going back to the morning of May 25th, it's a Friday, 4th, 24th, 24th, 24th. Was Kent at the house that morning? 
like Wednesdays or Saturdays or Sundays with the kids, he takes yeah. the support one. And Pavel uses either the FIFA truck or the Cheddar team. And me, I use whatever of those three cars are left in the house. Because I use a lot of the Raptor, I use a lot of the Cherokee, and I use a lot of the Suburban. Those are the only three cars. And Pavel always leaves his car in the So what did you drive that day, the Friday the 24th, when you went to stop the shutter at 7 a.m.? You drove the YG, right? Yes. You ruled out, right? It was. The YG you drove on Friday morning or something. So just stop the shop at 10 o'clock, you lost pink bag of cheese and a couple of things. I thought he likes like a Rashulta, yeah. Rashulta, Monster Cheese. That's very good. Part. Part. It's not fake. The mm -hmm. what? Rashulta sure is good. And you can look, I mean, the, the dates of the Rashulta must be in the package inside the refrigerator. Yeah. So you have YG that day, right? It's not my car. It's so you're driving with you? You're driving. Yes, yes, okay. Yes, yes. Pavel has the black raptor. In my head, yes, I didn't head. see Pavel, I didn't see the Raptor. But usually, if the white car is there, it's because Pavel took the. So you took the white Cherokee that day to stop the shop because that was the only car left. Are you folks was not home? No, but I don't know why I think the Suburban was there. The, the black car, the black Suburban. Was there? I think it was. Okay. I, but I, I, I'm good. doubting, but. Okay. Because you guys. Obviously, no, just anything I mean, you can I think of in your mind. I think it was, but maybe I'm wrong. I'm not going to no. I don't want to say something. No, but then you tell me, you told me this. Oh, no, no. you know you had the way. You know you had your white Jeep, Jeep Grand Cherokee that morning. We know you went shop. We know you were down. Yes, I am too. We you know that. Stupid. Yeah. So all that that little nitty gray stuff. But we, well, like, I just want to let you know we know where you were. Not you went to school. You went to stop the shop. Take a second. No, I went to school. I came back to the house. Well, I'm just saying, you know you're up in the area running errands and doing your motherly things and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, but the first, right. I also saw Hodge in the secretary yes. Yes. at the warehouse, yeah. at like around, I don't know, 9, right. 10, 9, 15. So, I mean, you can call him, like I saw him with my eyes. So just to, just to be clear, I know we're all on the same page, but we know you didn't come down to the team. We know all the right. You didn't go in the garage, kill Jennifer, or this I isn't. Know if she so we're not. To start with, right, like so, I've never been down there. I understand. We understand that. Um, so we're just trying to account for some vehicles, and possibly you obviously know where oh, is the best. I mean, you guys are, are a couple, right? You live yes. together. Um, so we were just hoping you could help lead investigators to Jennifer. Okay. And maybe that would be. I'm feeling angry. In my head, a lot of times. He's in the office in my head right. now. Right. I mean, I always, and even my mom will call me, ah, what are you doing? No, I'm here in the kitchen, sending whatever. And thought this man is in the office in my head. Now I obviously, if everything is adult, because I don't know 100% if he's in the office. Yeah, and you look at his track record with relationships, I mean, it not too good. <coughs> left his wife, you guys hit it off. I'm not saying you're in the lobby. No, 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 wait. He left. The first wife or the second wife. Yeah, yeah. He killed the last yeah. one for Jennifer. He's dating the second wife while yeah. he's married to the first. So he doesn't have a good track record. And then he's dating you while he's married to the second. Yeah. Yes. It's just what he does. So it's what he does. It's what he does. So he's going to lie. I mean, but the first one, I don't think he's dead. She's dead. No. Well, I'm saying his track record with relationships and lying okay. and deception. Okay. Okay. Do you, um. I don't know. Okay. Okay. So I think no question. So do you make a habit of keeping receipts? Yes. Do you, do you have a lot of receipts? Yes. I keep them if you if Where do you keep them? What? Where? Where do you keep the receipt? Where do you put them? I put them in my purse and they're like all messy. And then after a for a certain time, if you check my computer, I have a folder that says in Spanish gastos, which is expenses. And I put them monthly and then I go in my computer or check with the credit cards with my receipts because sometimes what you see the bank it gives you numbers and I'm like okay don't remember but I go with your receipts. And you can you do that for monthly monthly like every three months. Okay. Now you, you can also go and I must have another folder that says bail 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 colorado and I keep all the receipts too because at the end of or stay in Colorado, I have to 
with the father of Nicole. I have to make expenses because he gives me part of that money. We go half and half with everything that is with food, hotels, races, uh, well, if it's an equipment or something, he pays yeah, for it. Yeah, business expense. Huh? expense. Or do you want to keep receipts for business expenses? Or you just no, want to keep no, because like, I, I, he's never asked me any civil receipts to see if it's true that we're spending, but I keep them. And, and, and it's all in my computer. If you go and it says gastos, and it says 2018, 2017, 2019, you will find it. So if today you went to Starbucks and you got a receipt from Starbucks, what would you do with that receipt? I put it in my, I throw it in my purse. And then, and then what? And it stays there for probably two months. Okay. So are there deals? You know, and I keep mostly the ones that I carry, the ones from my credit card, mm -hmm. but I also use Cody's credit card mm -hmm. for mostly for supermarket, for gas, mm -hmm. because he puts the gas for the company. Supermarket he used, but I think it changed the law or something, and he said, I don't need any more receipts, but I leave them there in the, okay. on the kitchen. Uh, you know, you have your purse with you? Sorry? You keep your purse with you, generally? Usually I keep two purses, and actually one stay in the, in the, in the kitchen, the brown one. Mm -hmm. And this one. But then I have all those. You have a receipt today that you put in, you put it in that purse? If, that, if it, this is the one I'm using, yes. If it's okay. the other one, it goes Do you leave it in the purse that if you put it in, or do you transfer it no. in the purse? Okay. okay. So, would you, would you say that there should be a lot of receipts in your house? In your purse? Yeah. There's lots of receipts? Yes and no, because I, I mean bad with it in terms of like when, when it's with Fulti's credit card, I try and not to. When did you last uh, look at your credit card? Yes, okay. okay, so yeah, but around the 24th. Like, how, how, when did you last go through your credit card bill early in May or early? I think on the. Um, on the 20s, when Fulti said that his lawyer said that we have to do a timeline to remember where we were, or whatever, I think that day I went through my purse. Huh? Jacob. Yes, I think it was Jacob or whatever. Okay. Now, and I went, I'm going to keep track so I can like, verify that I was. Right, so you want to tell me what your lawyer told you to do, but. So I have the receipts and they stayed, I think, in the other purse, in the brown one. Okay. And the ones lately I gave you yesterday. The ones so there you. should be a lot of refer, a lot of receipts you can try to find out in the brown purse that is actual Jefferson cost. Yes. Okay. And probably ones from months ago. Mm -hmm. What if there what what why would it be that there aren't a lot of receipts in that purse? Is there a reason why? Why there is a lot? Well, no, why there are a few. In other words, why perhaps in the Paris are the receipts that you were referring to on the 24th and not other receipts prior to that? Because I think some, when, when, when I had to do the timeline, I think this was Sunday that we did, like to write down in a paper that that's probably um, the Sunday the 26th, right? Sorry? That would be two days after the 24th. The yes. Okay. I separated and I said it was a way to come. Proving myself that I okay, was so you want to go back over your timeline in order to establish your whereabouts certain times. Well, right. not to prove it's a police cop like this. And I went okay. to the supermarket, I went to. I think it might have been. I, so you took the receipts, you gathered all the receipts at that time in order to construct the timeline for your whereabouts? No, Is that what you're saying? No. To have it as a proof in so case. You guys ask me, where were you? And I can go and say, listen, yes, it's okay. true. I was in stop and shop oh. at 9. Michelle, I have a question. So with all those receipts that you've discarded, you discarded I them? I don't discard it. I keep them in my, in, in my purses. All of them, for the last two months? Yes, they are accumulated. I mean, it's full. Well, I just gave them yesterday. Yeah. You guys. Yeah. Can I open my purse? You can, yeah, I have some questions. I might have... You can leave the room if you want. Tell us something. I don't know. Like, this is a, well, I took 
This is another receipt. Like, I put them in my, this is the thing to charge my phone. Like, I keep my receipts under basically I throw them and then keep a You might have a little bit of receipts. How long did you have that first? Ah, when I bought it? No, how long have you been using that receipt as the receptacle for your receipts? Or that purse for the receptacle of your receipts? How long have you been putting receipts in that purse? Since you had the eight before Jefferson? Yes, okay. I have two receipts here. One from the fifth and one from the fifth. So two from history. Any other receipts in there? No, I gave I gave him I gave him all the receipts yesterday sure. when I came here. Do you understand what how it looks sometimes? And then my mom since I have actually the work has been paying a lot, so I haven't buy that many mm -hmm. things. Look, you have to look at the fact that you're in the car when the trash is getting gone. And nobody in the world believes that you didn't know what was going on. What was the, what was not what are you doing? What are you throwing out? There's no way you weren't asking, what are we doing? What is this stuff? This is abnormal. This is abnormal. Can you hear that? Okay, what is it? Can I one more? Can I? Absolutely. Okay. That's what we've done this in the past. Uh, we've done it in, in, uh, in, for in A1 pound. I've done it in your okay, so you you asked them, but what are you doing? Was, why are we doing this? No. Do you ask them? Is that just a good thing? What should you say? Do you want to uh, process? Well, if you're leaving the room, we're going to stop you. Oh, you're here. You're here. You're going to see the thing. Which one? Yeah. Now we're here for you. We want to get. That I everything I say I'm saying it wrong. So. No, no, no. you to say like you know, spot on the things that we're asking, the information we're asking you for. Can I go just, just, just the information that we're asking you for. Does not require, should not require you to have your phone to be precise with time. We're asking in the morning of kind of questions. These are general questions right now, and you shouldn't have your you need to have your phone, or you shouldn't have what you're referring to receipts. We're trying to get information on where Jennifer is and what happened to her, and who was responsible for what happened to her. Because we're having a pretty good idea what happened. To her. We need to find her for the family. And, and, and when the state's attorney plans were walked back in here in a minute or two, he may have a few things just to explain to you. I just I feel like you're not telling us everything. Okay, what, what I was explaining that throwing out the garbage for me it's not a, well, it's something new that we've done. Okay. What I was concerned was that I've never been in that area. Sure. So I was like, why here? And yes, it was like construction and cars and like, he would stop, uh, someone hung. I'm like, you have to move the car. Mm -hmm. Then he moved it three meters and he stopped again. Like, it was like too much. So what kind of question did you ask? I said, why do we have to be doing that now? And what did he say? No, nothing. He's like, relax, relax, everything is fine. It's just a few minutes. I was on the phone too. I was texting. Talking, so it's not like I was like, let me see, like, and you, you have my phone, you can see that. Right. We, we're not there. worried about showing that you're there, you, put, you placed yourself there, we understand. I know, but it's not like, we're just going said, by. I go to Starbucks, I said yes. Right. If I would have had my daughter, which I usually have her yep. after 3.30, when yep. she doesn't have activities of right. school, because but she had a play that night, right? She had a play, I would have stayed at home, I would have not gone to Starbucks. <laughs> That wasn't a plan that I went at. Yeah, I went to Starbucks. I was alone in the house. I had to wait to pick up Nicole at nine at night mm -hmm. because her play was from seven to nine. I I went as a companion, but 
If I knew he was doing something wrong, I would not even walk into that car. That's the part that I'm like, wow. I mean, if he really did this, and he's putting myself. You, you have to see from our side when we first spoke to you. I asked you specifically about something you dropped in the sewer, and you pretended like you didn't know. 20 minutes later, now all of a sudden you know. The first time we talked, you told us was in that. The first time you told us that you were in the house and woke up, you took a shower or forest. Now you didn't take a shower or forest. Okay. So this is all going to come out and it makes you look like you're not telling the truth. I know. Like you're not telling the truth. If you told me that I'm like in panic and that I'm like I'm not trying to panic, panic. panic. No, we want you to relax. We I want you to relax. Like, how do you relax if I'm like, you know, like I'm nervous? I'm not trying to upset you. Stop talking to me. Just keep your breaths. I understand you're nervous. Just tell us. Okay. Okay. We're not here to make you nervous. We want you here because well, we're, I'm trying to sh tell you how you can do the rest of this. Breathe and just listen to what I'm saying. We want you to take your time and give us as accurate information as you possibly can, but give us all the information you can. Okay. Because if this comes down to, if this comes down to a trial, you would have a jury of 12 people, and they would be told the story, and then they would have to say, is that a reasonable story? And I'm not sure they would look at the story. Okay. 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 So, so, the so I think we were, I think we were talking about the drive. In my heart. Okay, and I think you asked her, John asked, what did you say to him? What did he say to you? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, it's your. It's, your it, it, it's basically, what I'm saying is that nobody is believing that you didn't know as you're going from can, 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 throwing stuff out, dropping stuff in the sewer. No one's going to believe that you didn't know what was going on. And then we retrieved these items, and we've already told you what we retrieved. So, more than that, more than that, we're not going to go over what we retrieved. Just oh, yeah, I remember that I suspected in the Can you tell us anything about that license plate? A key on the job. Can you tell us anything about that license plate? I don't, I didn't even know that. Did you ever see it? No. Alright, but you saw the mailer? The first uh, mm -hmm. box. Well, what I saw it was in a box. It and was like an envelope. Like, like a soft side envelope? Yes, it was in a box. Okay. It was an envelope. What Did I you saw. see colors putting it into the store? Um, I saw it in the, in the that I did see in the car. I don't remember if it was in the back or in That's my fine. That's fine. That I don't remember seeing. Now that they had license plates inside. I did not know. Mm -hmm. I did not know those license plates belong, and I didn't know mm -hmm. that they existed. Okay, and that's that. That's possible. That's easy. But given all of the information that you're driving, and you sorry, can I, yeah, no, I don't remember if it was you or you. You told me that I handed it to him. So that's yeah, that was. And I don't said worry yes, about that. but don't worry because about I was nervous. I don't know if I handled it. Don't or worry about that. That's not. It's, you saw it in the car. But so I'm video being okay. Both that don't, of you or someone of you that night worry ask about me if I did that. Okay. And right mm -hmm. here, we've been past that. That's not an issue. It's not an issue. Well, when I said that, yes, I passed it. Okay. We're okay. starting over with that. Point is, it's in the car. It's on video going into the drain. We pulled it out of the drain and we found what was inside. That's all we need to know. Okay. Yeah. And you're telling us you never saw. If the, in doing the, anything with the license. No, I've seen those envelopes before in the office, in the office. In, okay. in, underneath in his um, printer okay. because he sends a lot of so ghostly, he sends a lot of But talking. given what's going on, where he's driving the Raptor, you're riding, he's stopping at multiple locations, people are beeping, you're saying, hey, let's get out of here. And I'm going to remember a fire right. truck. When a fire truck is by. Um, and you ask him, why are we doing this? No, why we're here. He why said, we're here? And he says, what? He said, relax, it's okay. It's, it's just a few and minutes. You, and are you saying that there was no other conversation about what was going on there? I, I wasn't my phone. 
texting. You can even verify it. I don't need to do that. I'm asking you the conversations that are on the phone that calls. were going on between you and Well, I'm also a little bit upset because I didn't want to be there. I didn't want to be there. I'd never be there. You still want creepy. You call it creepy. It's not a nice I, theory. I don't call it creepy to you guys. I, didn't, I don't think I said creepy to him. Okay. But you, you knew you were somewhere you don't I normally go, right? Actually, when I went to the I to see my the GPS. I was driving with my mom, and that GPS almost got me there. And I'm like, I, like I, I remember this, like this year, I think. And I told my mom, I, this is where I think we drove because, again, I think some of you said or you told but me that there was no construction. Don't, don't remember don't, seeing We're talking that. about today. We're, okay. you, we're having this conversation now. Don't worry about what you said. Well, what because you said. I said things. Just listen. Well, this was a good time to take a break. So after yes, you guys were driving down, do you remember any of the roadside roads? I remember we went one that was like, I believe it was like the avenue. That, that yeah, that's Albany Avenue. That's the main road. The main road. Did you take a right? We took a... And then, yes, and right. then you have to remember what road it was? Or what was nearby? Mm -hmm. Okay. You went down a little ways and then what happened to the left? And then you took another one up and then to the right. Okay, so you don't know the road. I, That's I fine. do know that we went in the room because at some point okay. I think we went back to the same we, road. They're asking if you during the move was anything thrown out. Did he stop and throw anything out? I think he stopped somewhere. Where did he stop? In the corner. In the corner? In the corner? corner. What, did he, what kind of buildings? Was it houses? Stores? No, no, I think. I think there was like a green area open in one of the corners. So there was an open open area on the corner and where did you put you put another bag in something? Was it a dumpster? Was it a uh, green garbage can? I don't know. I don't remember that. I think I saw something open. I don't know if it was green now, but I know no construction. Mm -hmm. uh, How many times did you stop? I mean, before you got back to that. 30 table, times? I don't remember. If I stopped 30 times, I wasn't dropping. Again, I don't listen, remember. 30 stops. Listen, we're starting over. From the time, from the, you know, the main road? When you got off the main road until you got back onto the main road, you stopped how many times do you think? Once? Twice? More than that? Can you remember? We're just asking. Yeah. Let me think. I mean, okay. I'll one for sure. Otherwise, I don't. I do not remember. And I think one. But I'm, I'm like scared to say because if I say five, you say not was thirty. If I say ten, you say no, six. So what I'm getting is just your, okay, your recollection. Okay. Right. My recollection is that one stop. One stop that I remember. <coughs> In a corner. Okay. Where, where there was some open space and green grass near that near that rooftop. There were buildings, but one spot, I don't know why, for one reason, I think it was open. Unless I'm. Well, I'll be honest with you, we don't know yet. We're going to find out. We're just trying to have you help us find out, that's all. This isn't no, a trick question, we're asking you. Maybe I'm. Um, and then there were houses, there were like homes, then. Mm -hmm. Homes? Yeah. Or housing projects? Huh? Like housing project homes or regular? Like maybe homes. House projects. Like apartments. Apartments, like regular like apartment buildings. Maybe like a brick thing. Did, did you only see bags being thrown out? <laughs> did you notice anything like a road or The rug that was placed up alongside the building? Large rug that was rolled up. Mm -hmm. Okay, but that's the item. So I don't know if you knew where that rug may have come from. Because he does have dumpsters on his properties, right? Otis? He's got. You mean the home? The, like, uh, Otis has a regular access to dumpsters on his properties. But in, uh, his the construction? Yeah. 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 Yes, but yeah. when the construction, the big okay. construction is done. Well, yes, yes, you guys put your trash out of Friday's, right? Friday's is trash day for your neighborhood. 
will be posted on Thursday night. Thursday night, night. right. That's so the trash is Friday fine. morning. So why go, to, why go to the city of Hartford and dump the trash all over the city? That's We've done it before. Why? Why? I don't have like a... You're, you're very slow holding the shell. I don't know, but, you're not... but because I don't know, he doesn't because he doesn't want to keep the bags in his house or going like that construction yes. area. But I don't know, like Oh so your club is right up the road. So if we, we don't think the club. So we look at historical phone records, we're gonna put you guys in Hartford together in the past dumping trash all over the city. No, no, no. I said I have never been in that area. So we're gonna put him in that area dumping trash in Hartford. I don't know if he's on the phone. You said he went to Hartford before, does it? He doesn't. No, I said that we've done it in the past, not me, not in that area. I've I've done, well not me, don't, but he's done with me in Avon, in the club, in the in the pond. We've done it. Which you're a member of. You're a member yes. of okay. Okay. Yes. That's why you have a downstairs you want to throw something out to get that. Yes. Okay. And we did it once when there was a home parade of something. Last, I think it was last year in New Canaan. I helped him in New Canaan. In New Canaan? Yes. Okay. Have you ever been in New Canaan before? Yes. How many times have you been in New Canaan? In my whole life. Uh, before you said you've never come down this way. So I was well, I never do. Sure. I mean, like, he's, her house I've never. Okay. But to 183 Hemlock, but it's a house that he constructs. Probably I've been there with the whole parade. I think it was like four days in a row, I went every day. Um, what was that? Recently? No, that was, I think, last year. It's like a tour that they do of homes, and one, uh, and one of his homes was in that tour. Um, I went once again to take pictures uh, of that house with a photographer, but we went there with the photographer, so that can be five. I mean, once that I want to interview last right. year. I just want to, I kind of want to stop you for a second, because well, especially now that it's this maybe, maybe. All right. 12 times I've been in New York. Right, yeah. Now, State's Attorney Brings us here. I want to just sure. This is not a meeting the way we want to expand. This is, we don't want to expand things. We don't want to make a whole bunch of things. We want to focus <coughs> on what we believe we know. Now, like I told you before, you're under arrest for certain things, not for murder. Access warrant? What? Access warrant? No, you're not. No, no, no. no. We're not. No, no. Try to listen. I mean, you know. Mm -hmm. We went down to the meeting with photos on Friday the 24th and murdered Jennifer. And where the body is. That's why we are here. We are not here to go back. Several times, several times during the I've heard you going back to the script. I want to go back to the script. I want to go forward. It's okay. You have to know you live with Forrest. You live with him for or you live with him during that time. Let's talk about what led up to this. Forrest recently shaved his head bald and all the hair off his body, correct? Right? I think. You did. When? Why? Because the same skin season he started and he said, Do you want to, can you do my hair? And he got out of the shower and I said, Yeah. And the machine goes in. We have pictures of him water skiing with all that hair. So, so, done it in the past. so quite honestly, that's a bunch of crooks crock. Listen to me. Did you see Listen to me. When did you shave his head? Two weeks ago. Did you shave it any more than one time? Mm -hmm. okay, I went to the State Police Academy. Monday morning, we had shaved heads. Friday morning, I was standing in the back at attention, and I would look out over a sea of stuff. If you shaved his head two weeks ago, he would not have had the appearance that he had the day that we spoke to him. It was shaved more, listen to me, it was shaved more recently than two weeks prior. So do you need to tell us the truth? The way you check it. The way I, I can prove it, if you go in his Instagram, I, don't want to. I share it that day or in my phone. Well, that what's day. that day? On the his Instagram? It's in my Instagram. Did you shave it after Jennifer Lovis? No. Prior? No, yes. You met him on Saturday morning. So no, 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 he shaved his head before. 
And all the hair on his body was white. No, that's not that I did. But he did do that, right? I know that. I don't know. But is he, is he I routinely a groomer? No, he does. He, he, has, he is, he does. The back he walks in the same place where I walked, I got him the gift card for waxing his back. And he goes there or to a Chinese where I do my fan work that's called fancy nails. That I, I I don't get control of, like when he walks with shade or the head, he asked me, can you do my hair? I said, yes. If he got out of the shower, I went like this, the machine doesn't work. I turned the thing, I went again, it didn't work. I put it in zero and obviously I got to walk. But in the picture is in Instagram. And we made even a joke that... Listen to me. We feel confident. Listen to me. We feel confident a few things. First of all, I'm going to say you planned this. There was a lot of pre-planning that went into this. Listen to me. There's a lot of pre-planning. Michelle, I don't know if you me to. Gotcha. Now, listen, we're, trying to find out. Out. we're trying to find out what he did. We wouldn't be here. I would have talked to your attorney and asked you to come in if I thought in a second that you knew what he was going to do. I wouldn't. I wouldn't waste our time. Because I would have just said, well, arrest her. We're here. Thank you. We're here because I think you could help, like they said, you can help yourself. Because there's information, whether you think about it, it might be something simple like, hey, you know what? That day, he got out of the shower and he asked me to shave his head. It's the first time, I don't know, two weeks, whatever it was. And, and he never asked me to do that before, but he asked me to do it that day. So for you, it's a normal day. He, he gets out of the shower and he shaved my head. You say, oh, I never did it before, but okay, I'll shave your head for you. Yes, I think that's oh, right. So, but that's information oh, that okay. they need. We're not saying you knew what he was going to do, but that's the stuff that, that they want to talk to you about. Okay. That's what we're trying to, you know, when they went to your house. No, it's not in my house. When they went to his house, there was things that they found that weren't there. They look in the closet. There's a section of stuff missing out of the closet. Of which closet? I don't know. I got too many dollars from the vain people. I'll find out. <laughs> um, in the shoes, your shoes in the closet. There's a section of them missing. My shoes missing? Shoes, yeah. I only took this and I... No, no, them. that's what I'm saying. So, maybe you don't know what he did with them? With my shoes? But maybe you could say, hey, my closet, all the shelves have shoes on them. No, so that's something... Like, <clears throat> I don't have that many shoes. Okay. So but this is what they're asking. The shoes I took is this and I'm in and I balance. Okay. From my shoes, and I think a lot stay like in the floor. Do you have any any flats that you wear? Yes, I just bought two pairs on Saturday. A red one. That's before we got before before, before ah, Friday. Because, <coughs> if I had flats, my flats, I don't have flats. Yeah. I have a red. Would they be in the closet if, if you had? They can be. You should they be in the house somewhere. <coughs> yes. They in the mud room, in the TV room, in the family room, in Nicole's room. So would it be weird to you if the police went in there and they searched the house and they didn't find any of your flats? They weren't? I'm asking, would that be... I know, yes, of course, they're all... Okay. I didn't know they took my shoes. Well, then, we don't know. We searched, we didn't find any flats. We can't take no, anything I, out there. Right. I, have, I have flats, I have... Two that are exactly the same, black and, and gold, that they have like a gold and it's like, uh, like this. Tony McGinnis, can you stop the video, please? Flats. Yes, sir. I Court would like to see the photographer, please. The photographer, would you approach, please? <clears throat>
one hour, seven minutes, and 12 seconds. We're going to resume from there. Thank you. Remarks that have been like a buckle that is a silver. So that's what, so, so this is what the point, the point is not to trap you. Right. We're not looking to do that. Okay. We're looking for information that can help us. See, because when he came back to Farmington, you know who he was with, or was we, he was by himself. When you first when saw him. When I first saw him, no, yes. He went to the house, I mean, he, he was in the house saying, let's go and have lunch. <laughs> I saw only him, I didn't see anybody else. Where did you? Okay, where did you go to lunch? In the, in the kitchen. No. Okay. And then he left the house and went by himself to... Well, that was him coming back after the meeting. What time did you have lunch, I guess? My guess was around 12 and 1. I told them the other day from 1 to 2, but... Again, usually my lunch are from 12 to 2 at the most. In those yeah. periods, I yeah. eat. There's no one You can't eat more just based on this. Right, but that was at one first. Okay, but he first went to that house, not the house. Okay, first thing we have about the house is one nineteen. Yeah. Okay, so that makes sense. Okay. And when you first saw him, he was by himself. What car was he in? Oh, oh, I see because I saw him. I was him. and then he was okay. down in the stairs. I said, "Can we, we go and eat?" And I said, "Yes." I went down. I took the pastel de papa. I here and me. Sorry, I, I was dressed. Jeans, if he doesn't, from my knowledge, he, he only has, for what I remember, two blue jeans and one I don't know what and a light dressed. shirt. A light, a light shirt. Like a t shirt? Yes. Or like sleeves or no sleeves? Short sleeves? Short sleeves, not long sleeves. No, like, like, like this? Like, like, like what I'm wearing. A long no, the collar? Do you have a collar? Like, it's like what I'm wearing. Like a whole yeah. shirt. Okay. For, that's what I how did you how did you know he was back in the house for that afternoon? Because he he said he calls me Oni. He says Oni, and I was in the calls from I'm like, yes. Do we have, we go and have lunch? And I went down, and he was looking up, and I was looking down. I said yes. And we went and, and I went down the stairs. Noon or one one or two? You're not sure. Oh, no, I said right. twelve to one. Right. Did he appear normal to you? He was his normal self. Was there anything wrong with his hands, his arms, his body, anything? No. no Nothing that you noticed? Zero. No. But just for this period, what does it affect our benefit? You're not sure how long when he left in the morning, right? Because you didn't see him. Once Nicole called you at 12 59 in the morning, you went to Hearst, and he may not have been there, been there in the morning when you woke up. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Do you, do you know if Fulvis had a rash on his body in the days prior to this? Do you have anything wrong with his skin? He said that he was getting poisonated. But I don't know if it was like, not that day, but I don't know if it was Saturday or Sunday. It was after, it was after the 24th that he said that. About the poison ivy. I believe so. And why this was going on for you guys, he said he was starting to get poison ivy. I believe so, but okay. again, so, I don't... That's fine. Don't worry about me trying to walk with it. Now, is there any place on these properties where you've got poison ivy before? Yes. Where? In the water. We've got poison So in the trails of your little motorcycle? In, in this part? In this part of the trail. That I fell with the water? And this is by the power homes? Yes, but before, this is like, I think it's called the <coughs> plant. Yeah. You might not know okay. about. Huh? Good. 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 I've I've fallen there before and when I don't have the jacket and all the motor equipment, I've got them close in my bed. Okay. It's very simple that you got it. It's very easy that you got it, right? You just yeah. get you more cover. Yeah. Okay. Did he tell you where he was getting the poison on the house? No, he no, just don't And I'm also so sorry, and in the pond. When I when I got him out of the water, I got him poison ivy too. Which one? The one you know, the salty one? Where we see you? I got him poison ivy in those two places. Me. Okay. Or really with the laptops. You were just showing her actual face. Yeah. Yeah. Take a look. 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 Take a Thank you. 
The way he usually dressed. We do. 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 I just make sure you're waiting for me. Because he wanted Fortis to sell, to help him sell this property. Yeah. If you go to that place, like we, he, he, he's in construction, he has machines very old, and they were like all parked around the place. And we passed by that place, and he had like chainsaw, but like the size of this table, like a ghost with like a scary face, like a, like everything he had had. It was like a meat thing with a fork, like very creepy. And I remember I said, I said, for this whole Pavel, because we're going to get killed here. And he called Pavel, and Pavel was checking on us all the time, like calling us. And then I don't know what happened to this guy. All right, so we have a laptop here. It's a satellite view from Google. So, Here's Jefferson Crossing, here's Ford Jefferson Crossing, and here's Eli and Deer So you guys would ride out. So wait, this is Focus House. Okay, all right, so that's fine. Yeah, you so, go up here, all this is the line. All right, so you're traveling east through the woods, just behind the property. You go behind here, that this guy is upset. You go up here, because this looks like a power can you open it more? Okay. All right, so you're you're traveling along the southbound side of Jefferson. Yep. And go up here. Yep. Okay. Well, I go. You gotta push down and then drag it. Yes. Yeah. So see, we go this 
It's a trail. This is where the power lines are. All this is power lines. Yeah, because they gotta cut them. Okay. And that's is this the reservoir? Yeah, it's like that looks like, like I don't know if that's all of it. There's there's a body of water here. There's a body of water here. I'm not familiar with it. Well, okay, I don't know. I just know that we go out here, we do this, and then at some point we go in between here. Yeah. Here we turn around and then we go back. So yes. all this is like trails. Let me zoom in. Are you trying to, are you guys motorway on the cleared portion or in, in the both. woods? In both. Or in the clear and then and then it becomes like wood. I mean I can take you but there. Just me. Well we'll see what <laughs> you know. I'm getting locked off so you can call us. That whole loop, when we do it in water, it takes us about 40 minutes. So it's a big area. Any idea? All right, the answer is. Is there, is there any like landmark where you guys turn right? You're going up here. No, no, I mean, if you put it bigger and it shows, I can. Well, I mean, the thing is, I thought it's bigger than it, it's hard for you to see. I, I was trying to zoom in for you. So you can but anyway, we can go all the way up to Route 44. So look, Route 44. That's where, where we've done this. I still receive in the house okay. magazines. Which 
Yeah. Yes, you have four children. One. Oh, and Nicole, she's 12. Yes. Would you ever leave your 12 year old daughter, listen, would you ever leave and go hide and not tell your 12 year old daughter where you are? Mm -hmm. Why not? Because um, <laughs> I'm a healthy person. I won't do that. Okay. Because you choose to be very upset, right? Well, something that doesn't even cross my mind. It wouldn't even occur to you to do that. No. Because Jennifer has five children. Yes. And other family members. Do you think, why would she go hide and not tell them for a period of time where she is and she's sick? Can I talk about the report? No. Well, no, listen, wait a minute. The question was. My question is. The question my only was, answer that I can give is because, from my understanding, she has a borderline personality disorder. She got that information from folks. Yeah, this is a man who killed his wife. Well, so, politics? She told me he was a man. Yes, I got it. Our, I have, our impression of the <laughs> Yes, I got it from the that there's a. Our impression of the I'm sorry. I know. If you call me Jenny, for example. Well, I'll be honest with you, Jennifer's on my mind. I know. Okay, because I worry every day and every night about Jennifer. So I apologize for calling you the name of the person who's been missing. Now, what is the news? Michelle, here's the thing. We're here to find out where she is. And we don't think that you that you're not the one who straight this. Our impression of folks is that he is a manipulative, controlling person. And that's and everyone I think he has written, right? Based on the information. So everybody's in mean, everybody is. So he wanted to get rid of his wife. And he did that. And we're looking to find her for her family's sake. Kill the mother of his five children. And we're, we're, we want help from you. I mean, if. Who's to say, sure, to you? Yeah, if he, if he can kill the mother of his five children, <laughs> somebody who appears to have been wanting to get back with that mom, according to his home. Yeah. So I think I said, here he kills the mother of his five children. And according to his, you know, from what we hear from other people and his home, he, he appears to have been wanting to get back with them. Mm -hmm. sure. that woman. Who oh, wanted to get back to her? The one oh, back the one of your life. The man? Yeah, the man you sleep with every night. The text message to her. Yep. So you think, for one second. So imagine what he would do to you. So he would get you to try to get you up. This first wife for her. Was married to her for a long time. Had five children. Two sets of twins. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I know you do. I know you do. Your daughter knows them well too. Doesn't she? she had the family that she always wanted with those kids. Well, not the family that she always wanted because I believe she has a nice family. And she's happy. <laughs> no, what I mean is other children. Well, she has children. children. Yes, yeah, she has a lovely family with you. Her father, your mom, absolutely. Because you say we have the text messages from Phyllis and Jennifer. We're going back to March. We have it. But when March, we, for we have his phone. We have it. I know, but for what? You shut the shell. When he tells you, let me, let me tell you something okay, about. Okay, no, phone. but did you know? Yeah, no, okay. show it. Show it. We want to tell you something that everyone in this room is like. Phyllis <coughs> lies to everyone, and the reason he lies to everyone. Is Cares about one person in the world, that's himself. He didn't care about his first wife, he didn't care about his second wife, he doesn't care about you. He says all kinds of things to all kinds of people to get what he wants. Okay? He manipulates, he controls. We have no doubt he did that to you. He lies to you. So what I I know you I'm trying to So he owes you. He feels he owes you nothing. If he just put this murder on you, <laughs> he would have given up to you a second. Okay? We don't think that's true. And we want what is fair. <laughs> yeah, we will. So turn to the next I saw it. I'm talking. I can't give you a call. What do you think about?
Yes. yes okay. And I took this step and I took, I stopped in CVS to buy a gift card for Nicole's birthday girl, a $25 credit card. <laughs> then I drove to Andrew um, Walker. At 11 30, we were there and Nicole with all her friends, they got into a bus. So let's stop here. What did, what did photos do for the rest of the day on Saturday? Well, he supposed it was with the police, with his lawyer. I figured if, if your your mother and your five kids were missing, you would want to help your children out and give them everything, anything. Maybe you could help out where she is. Otis did not do that. Otis actually was extremely uncooperative with this whole thing. So he's done nothing. He hasn't talked. He said a word. He won't say a word. Is it he told he told you he was going to talk to the police? No. No, okay. He just might get a lawyer. He, he, he told me yeah. not a lawyer. He told me because the night before they talked to Lauren and he said we have to meet at eleven. I don't know where and they were meeting with the kids and Quaid, which is the super nice. So <coughs> it was be true. At some point he called me. I don't know if he was already with Jacob. And who's, who's Jacob? Jacob My first lawyer. Oh. It was his lawyer. And he said he's going to, we're going to the police because of the police called me to testify, to help or to, I don't know what. So is he now for his mom? Who you go to find out? Yes, and he supposed that he went, I don't know, I wasn't there. And he went with Jacob. But you would think that he would drop whatever he was doing the minute he his heard kids. that the mother of his five kids was missing. He'd get he his ass where he got to go to New York, but I don't know who told him, you cannot come here, better stay. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was Jacob or Mike Wolf. Yeah, that's all right, that's... That this, this conversation I did listen because we were in the office at the end of the office talking. He was now, you, and okay, the you, police was, called me two times and Jacob you, you said. You don't think trash and hard for the day before was as soon as it was already, right? And then the next day Jennifer's missing and it's all. No, new. nothing we found out at eight okay. twenty that the police came to the house. Okay, did you look back for yesterday and say, you know what? We're not the trash all over the city of Hartford. No. Well, I didn't, I didn't see photos yesterday. Why are, why are, you know, it's not peace in your mind? It's more than Just make the connection. Okay. Oh, it's, it's not just... Did you find it in No, I don't think like that. I'm not maybe, maybe I'm stupid. I mean, no. I'm no, you're, no, no, no. You're trusting and that's understandable. You're, you're, and you're, you're, you're loyal, you're loyal to the first place. Right? I mean, it doesn't cross in my mind that I'm sleeping with someone that is thinking of killing someone. Like, if, <laughs> if I would have, like, I would have not been here, like, with my daughter. Well, not only did you think about it while you were sleeping with him, he involved you in the cleanup. Yeah. Maybe that's, like, even worse. Like, yeah. I'm hating from because of that. Got you in trouble. According to what you're telling us, and what could be the case. You know, but I was cleaning the house. I wasn't cleaning the only reason we were using that arrested, according to your story, was because of photos. Yes, right? right. Yes. Going back to that Friday, to that yes. 24th, do you know where Phyllis' phone was in the morning? It was picked up. Would, would, he, he, would, he, would, he, would he normally have his phone? With him, doesn't he? Yes, hear? and no. Can I talk I about this? A lot, yes, but sometimes he leaves them. He's very. Uh, well, listen, he has a business. It's a big money business. Yeah. He has a phone, business phone, and the business phone is his cell phone. Doesn't he normally carry that cell phone with him to, to accept business calls? Because his yeah. wife is missing doesn't mean his business is out. It's ended, right? Right? Yes. All right. So Saturday, he, wouldn't he have his phone with him? He didn't have it. No, I'm, ask, I'm asking you. On Saturday. On he Friday, Friday, Friday. Right. Um, on Friday, wouldn't you expect him to have his phone with him? It's but just, he didn't have it. From the first things first. So listen, listen to the question. Wouldn't he, on Friday, yes. when he didn't know where he was, yes. wouldn't you expect to have his phone? He had his phone be with him. Yes. Okay. What if we said it wasn't with him? What if we said it was at the house? In the house? Mm -hmm. Right. All what if we said that? Is that a, would that be unusual? That he left his phone with him? 
whole day. For the time, well, kind of around the word, like that, yeah, it's that would be unusual. Yes. Okay. Has he ever done? Has he ever? Does he? When you call him, does he normally pick up? Unless he's busy. Or he left the phone. Okay. With the phone, yeah. and he comes back, and then he said, "Oh, come, come with me, and let's pick up the phone." So, the, that. so the pattern for phone is to generally have the eight six two five cell phone with him. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I don't know his number by then. Okay, it's the business phone. I'm the one. Do you know what I know? Okay. Okay. So, 478 It's the one on the Ford business site, right? Yes. So, if he doesn't have that phone with him, that is unusual? Probably would say yes. Okay. But he has left it in the past. He leaves. He leaves. So when he, when he leaves it in the past, he leaves it and says, Oh, Michelle, you know, I left my phone. We have to go back and get it. And he realizes it within a half hour or an hour. Not six hours, right? No, not Or in this case, Does he get a lot of hours. Does he get a lot of phone calls throughout the day? How often does his phone ring? Well, like, right now, once an hour? So, huh? Like once an hour? I know, but I was, I was this is an approximation. Like, 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 how many phone calls? Like, right now, I know that the business is going slow, so he doesn't get as much as. So how many like, calls do you think he would get? In during the day? During, during the morning. Would he get at least one? Yeah, well, yes, at least one, okay. I guess. But you're a significant other. He's, that guy's on the job site. He's not in These guys aren't calling him safe. Last... Not, no, not I know. Well, for example, this case alone. Oh. I work in this case. I'm on my phone all the time. I see maybe on this phone. Jesus, you're on the phone a lot. Because I'm working. This I'm place is... are you talking I don't understand. Um, on Friday? Yes, Friday. You know, so he's got to behavior. No, 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 no. Anything. Yes. So you, you're, you're going to spend okay. it Tuesday with Florida. You're going to go for breakfast. You're going to hang out. He's not going to work. He's going to spend the day with you. No. He doesn't do that? Okay. Uh, a Tuesday to hang out and have breakfast? No, on a Saturday or Sunday? Saturday. Probably, yes. Is this for rainy Saturday or Sunday? Yes. This is his regular patterns of behavior. Right? We're just looking for behaviors. <laughs> like, how often? I cannot tell you he received 100. He's not yeah. like in a stock market. Is it the times when you're out to dinner with them or you're having breakfast and I hang out with them? The guys are calling me on the job site. They want to know if each time he talks to right, he right. walks all over the house. Okay. And not over all the this house. Is, this is the house has bad reception. So he either goes to the office, huh? One spot. Right. The kitchen or outside the house. Those are like the three best spots to talk yeah. in for Jefferson. Okay. But he arrived home that morning or that afternoon, mm-hmm. Friday twenty fourth. Mm-hmm. Did he mention his phone at all? No. Did he ask you where, where it was? Did he mention you that he had left it at home? Did, did he ask you if you got any phone calls? And he actually called me like at 1... I have it down, oh, like at 1.30 something he called me. He called you to say what? I can't remember. Like, he called but me if you walked in, you wanted to know. But you remember the time that he called you? Okay, after. Okay. Okay. after. And even me and my daughter, and he, even me, where are you? I'm in the office, oh, I'm in the house, like, even inside the house we call each it's other. It's a big house. It's a big house. Yeah, so absolutely. For me, that's normal to say, um, even with my so daughter. So you didn't get any calls to him that, that morning? No, I didn't get any calls. Well, okay. So we go and back here. When, when he's with the kids, I, I cannot call. So, here's, so here's, obviously, I'm used to not talking well, to him during that day. Okay, well, so here's what we do. Is we, have, we do have phone records dating back. I can't give you exactly. We have a lot of phone records. We have your phone records, we have folks' phone records, we have folks' psychic phone records. Sex one? He's got another phone. So. You didn't know he had another phone? You didn't know he had another phone? The phone that when we took, took you guys to the to real estate police with all that stuff? Why? Yeah. Yeah. He, bought, he bought a phone with Jacob on Saturday when the police took his phone. That's but not this part is part That's not true. He so told me, Jacob, told he told me, Jacob bought me a phone. No. That's, that's a lie. That's the same. Sure, that's a, that's a okay. bold. I'm, I'm just saying. Like, yeah, I'm just I'm telling you. you. He had an alert that came on my wire. So would it be... Um, is uh, it a 208? 208? I don't know. 203. I don't know. It's a 203. If you check my phone, I have two numbers for him. 
Mm -hmm. So how would manage that? I don't know. And that one, then I think he gave that red line to Petros. But when the mom took the phone, I don't know if he stayed with that line. But I never saw that phone or that line or that letter. So we have the like, U.S. Marshals and the FBI condensing all all of your call records. So it's going to be you're, you're, what you're saying is normally you wouldn't talk to Fotis. You wouldn't text them or call them throughout these hours of days because he's working. You guys don't do that normally. Is this going to be the only day that you have a guy calling them? No, there okay. are the other days that we don't talk okay. to them. Okay. And especially when he's on the weekend with the yeah. uh, with with the kids, because he's with the kids, I yeah. we don't even talk. Right. And on Wednesdays, when he's in the afternoon with the kids, we don't even talk. And we started sending one text like, "What are, are you guys with the kids? Are you are are you with the kids? Like something like that." Well, we get the phone on that morning. Morning, and Jennifer went missing. Does that strike you as unusual? Oh, oh I didn't know. I didn't see that one, but yes, probably it's, uh, it's weird. What time does school issue leave? What does he do at night? Is he late late Is he on late? Yeah, late Okay, what does he, what, what does he do at night? Usually, what's his routine? Just going to pause it at 143.44. The defendant indicated to you that she did not see Mr. Jules' cell phone, is that correct? That is correct. Did there come a point in time, specifically August 13, 2019, yes. where you had an opportunity to speak with the defendant again? Yes. What did she tell you about Mr. Jules' cell phone on August 13? She indicated to us that on Friday, May 24th, Fotis Jules' phone was in the office of the court group. And did she speak with you about anything she did with the phone? Yes. What did she say about that? The phone rang and she answered it. So keep on playing at this. Uh, it probably is a good <laughs> idea to just take a 10 minute break at this time. Like for me, I don't know. Like 11 30. Sometimes I go up yeah. because I'm uncomfortable. Sometimes he stays <clears throat> lately because of, mostly because of the so, divorce and the thing. He hasn't been sleeping at all. So that Thursday night, the Thursday oh, night, right, you said that was at 1230 a.m., right? 1250 a.m. Yes, so and he was sleeping with me. He, he was sleeping next to you in bed. What yeah. time did you guys go to bed that night? Approximately. You don't have to give us exact time. 830, I mean, 1130, 1130 to 12, let's say. And he's in bed and you're in bed. You guys have your nice games, I'm assuming. Tablets. Whatever people lay in bed, they, you, you, are know. you guys phone scrollers at night? You know, yeah. like Facebook or reading yeah. the news. Does he do that at night? He's a lot in his Facebook and he's uh, uh, on his phone or on his tablet. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you guys are laying in bed, right? In your next phone. Well, he uses lately. He's been bringing his computer, watching us movies. Okay. Because we, you know what he did that Thursday night? Was he on his phone in the, in the bedroom? Was he? Usually, Hang on. he puts it in the window that it's next. In the bed, I sit in the in the side coming in, and he sits in the one close to the bathroom. Yeah. And he puts his phone on that window that it's going towards the bathroom. That's where he uh -huh. charge his phone. Me, mm -hmm. I charge it next to that. Do you remember what he did with that on Thursday night? Was he laying in bed on his phone next to me? What was he? I mean, if you can remember. No, I think I know was him. I don't uh, remember him. What time does he usually wake up? He a lot at six forty, but he wakes up and a lot lately. He's been waking up around four thirty-five okay. in the morning. In, in the, the morning. morning, and I don't know. He. So what are you doing while he's up? Oh, you say, you say I, get, I get upset and I say, "Is he getting too loud? Changing?" He's getting yeah. up. The couple say, you know, so it's a lot of the morning. Yes, and when I when I cannot stand it, I go to the classroom. Did, that morning? Did, did that no, happen? no, because I was in the classroom. Sure. I mean, I don't know what happened in that room. Oh, oh and, uh, second, does he own a pair of cover? Like the sneakers like you have on? Is he own a guy's version of those? He the has Converse, I don't know, but it's another brand, black. Like similar to those? Yes. A different brand for black? 
I think there are probably rules on And he was wearing what when we saw him downstairs on that Friday morning calling out? A pair out. of jeans and a light shirt. Jeans. He has a lot of light similar to that one that you're wearing. So it could be that one, it could be one like this, or like this. It, it was light. And as far as you can remember, Michelle, that was the first time you saw him. So you don't know if he was wearing something different. When you were during that morning, that Friday morning, do you know? Do you know what car? Was there a car missing from you know these three, three cars? Well, usually they sleep all the cars inside the garage. Okay. So the way we usually park. But but Friday morning, you when, know if one of the you have the ship, the suburban, the rat. Cherokee that I sure that I parked next to the bar was which was there. Yeah, that's what you I did when you when you took the and call I to the school. Yes, and I don't know why I think in my head that the suburban was there, but maybe I'm making it up. Okay, so you're not sure if the suburban was there when you were taking the call to, to school, right? No, I thought so, in my head, and I think I told them yes that I saw a car, but now I'm doubting. Right. Okay. Was the Raptor there? Well, the Raptor sleeps on the other. There's another two other garage, and I don't go there. If I don't have to, okay. more than one. Like. Well, you, you said before that you'll take whatever vehicles are left over, right? Yeah, but in this case, I, I took a check. Yeah, and the suburban could have been there. It could. Oh. I mean, obviously, for me, the best car to use is the check of because it's a more yeah, like little. Yeah. The Raptor I hate, but I have to use it a lot. And, and the suburban, I don't like it, but man, if there's when nothing. When did the damage happen on the suburban? That was me. I crashed it. Would you remember when? Yes, Friday, uh, Friday before the day, the twenty fourth. I went with Pedro. We went down to Massachusetts for a flea market. And there was a big flea market. It, it was raining, and in Brookfield, uh, Brookfield, in Brookfield, Mass. It was like an hour away from Farmington. Yes, it's a big one. It's, it's it's a couple miles long. Sorry, a couple miles long. Yes, it's you just walk like a road and there were like tents. It was rainy, disgusting. But my friend, she has a store, so she buys things and they, they do restorations of furniture. She and her partner, they do. And um, so on the way back, like around two, I was on the right line to get exit 67 and a girl with a Toyota, a blue Toyota, obviously didn't look and she turned. And I, I mean, I put the brakes and I didn't stop. So after me. after the, the the accident, you came home, and when did you plan to get it fixed? That was Friday, the crash. Saturday, Sunday, close. Um, Monday morning, Manfred, the girl's uh, insurance calls me, and we arranged. They said we're gonna send you an email so you can take the pictures of the car for to do a quote. Uh, so I did that. And they say it takes 24 hours for the call to arrive. Then they sent me, said you didn't put the, I think it was the registration. So I sent the registration. So anyway, I think on third, Wednesday or Thursday, I spoke with insurance. They say that yes, and they sent me the call, 600 and something. Then I called, um, because they say we can give you the body shop, or if you have someone in mind, 40 said use uh, Davidson. So I called uh, Chevrolet David it's in Tampa. Um, they said I can give you a, a time for after memorial on Tuesday morning. So you drive up on Tuesday? Yes, in the morning, like around 8.45. Um, I called Enterprise, we arranged the cars, and then well, Tuesday I dropped off Nicole, I came back home. And then I went to take the car, and they gave me first. They gave me another car, but Fulte said, "Please ask for an eight seat car because you know, you're supposed to see the kids." Oh. Um, it's intentional to go see his children. Yes, so that's why. Once I said soon, the next one is there. Yes, because that was Tuesday that I took. After. after. Yes. Yeah. 
And then um, the girl gave me another car, I don't know the brand, but you guys can call them. And um, so I drove to the house and she came like around one and she, we exchanged cars. She got me a, a Yuka, it seemed her to the school, but anyway, that's the car that I was driving. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now you have to do Well, I rented because Andy said, get rid of, of the car, don't have anything to do with all this. We were staying in the hotel where you guys are arrested us. I'm in the same hotel, I changed rooms, and I um, I, changed, I got out of the Fotis account or point, mm -hmm. and I changed them, and I'm staying there for a moment until the 12th, until I know, because I have no, I have no house, no, no car, no, no. So you're upset with Fotis? Yes, of course. Because he implicated you in this whole mess? Mm -hmm. Because of that, because of what you told, I don't know. I don't what's know. upsetting? What's the biggest thing that's upsetting? I don't know, the problem is that's your house? Is it house? Okay. Is it, uh, your relationship's over with Fotis? Is that no, what's happening? It's the is it that whole thing that I can be in prison because of this. What's the thing that's getting to you most right now? That. that I Which can, part? That I can be like access or whatever, whatever was on title because of him. So you could be in jail because of that? Yes. Uh, does, does it upset you that but Jennifer is him? Does, but no, and he is everything, but it's, it means, like, obviously right. I have to see myself right now, and I'm Absolutely. worried that I have a daughter and I'm going to be in a jail for, mm -hmm. I don't know. We don't want that to happen. You don't. You don't. We're actually trying to keep that, right? to minimize whatever kind of jail time you're facing. You have to you have to break away fully though from the idea that you and photos are together. No, I don't understand it. Like, it's, no. it's hard for me to we see understand. this person that supposedly was because I with me like, well at least okay. I never felt that he did he never hit me, he never like talked and aggressively to me, yes, we have fights as couples, but I'm, I'm also very dominant when it comes to a fight. I don't let myself down because I don't want that. I, 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 like, I don't know, we were in, I was in Colorado, and one night I didn't call him because Nicole's dad and I, we were having a conversation. The next day, the text is like, you're a liar, tell me where to take your stings or were to send your things and send me my two pairs of skis and I said, what are you talking about? Like, and I got so upset, I said, yes, put them in a container and send them here to Colorado. And then like three hours after he was calling, oh, I'm sorry, I, I, I know I was upset. And that's all in the Texas, like if you can see them yeah. in my WhatsApp. We have no doubt that's with, what that happened. <laughs> that's who he is, that's what he's about. Okay, but I didn't know that at, at, at this extent. How about the, the conversations after Friday, after Jennifer's disappearance? How, how was his demeanor towards you? How was, is there any headbutt in the This stuff is starting to break the news, like you said in the last video, there's cops on your own. So what is your conversations with him? During this, I mean, when, like, honestly, excuse my husband. Yes, I said, this is enough, this is too much, this thing <laughs> has really gone completely out of control. I'm fed up. After this is finished and she appears, I'm leaving. I'm yeah. going to Colorado. Okay. I really don't want to be involved anymore. It's been two years of torture, of courts, and upset, and I'm not used to this. And my life has never been in conflict. And since I met you and I moved to Colorado, uh, to Connecticut, it's been like, like a nightmare. Mm -hmm. And how do you respond to that? And he's like, everything's going to be okay. Don't worry, I'm sorry. Please don't leave me. This is gonna get better. Don't worry. We're gonna go through this. Like, so he keeps talking about me, and he's asking you not to leave him, right? Right. Yes. Why do you think he's doing that? I'll tell you why I think he's doing that. Uh, he knows because no, because he is. He knows that you have information that if you're away from him, separated yeah. from him, that it's gonna kill, that's gonna get that you. In. That's what we're trying to. He is keeping you with him. Control you and to make sure that you don't well, give up some information not, accidentally. He said that shows you it could be information that you don't, you don't even know. Yeah, you don't know about. So we're trying to extract it out of you. So in his mind, he says what? 
in his mind when I heard that, I thought he loved me and that he wanted to be with me and call him his five kids and, and be all together and supposedly, I don't know. Like, the thing I don't understand, there's a report that supposedly was favorable for me and he was yeah. happy about that, for what I understand. That's when you have a lot of money, you can hire a lot of attorneys and report the divorce stuff. I mean, that's just is that the is that that report, report with the there site report, stuff. There was, report, <coughs> I mean, there was a psychology yeah. an evaluation test done right. through a, a Dr. Herman, which he interviewed mm -hmm. me when I was in Colorado through right. Skype. Yeah. And apparently that report that they sealed it, and I spoke with Mike Rose, they were driving, saying mm -hmm. that this report came very favorable. And he was happy about that report. So that's why it doesn't and he was like, we're gonna get the kids. Uh, I'm gonna have the kids legal custody. So he he's actually, painting a really nice picture for you guys. Yes. And he said, don't like remember the words. They're like, don't be surprised that soon you're gonna be like mother of six. Well, How do you feel about that? I'm like, oh, I know the kids. They're super nice kids. Right. They're super. I mean, of course I'm gonna love my daughter because. When was that? When did he say that to you? Don't be surprised that you're gonna be the mother of six. When he got the report, I'm talking about like when the report came out. Yeah, yeah, How long ago was that? Was it two weeks, three weeks before? Uh, that re you guys can have, do you have the report? Yeah, no, report? just. When did that report came out? It was like before uh, Greek Easter, so it was before the 28th of April. April 28th? No, no, 24th. Before, before, because the 28th of April was Easter. My family came all the way from Miami. To, from and since the new virus, since nothing to spend Easter to, and, and and it was the report was within that week because he told everybody he was super happy. We even did the, the Greek dance, uh, and he was happy about the report. And I might go to the East. Uh, uh, Great Easter, and he said everything's gonna be okay. Uh, the report report came good. Fulty told me that she has like a borderline. We even went to talk to a uh, country to his. Um, He's very good at what he does. You have I to realize that okay. when he tells the way he told you, it's probably self-serving for him. All right. Have you ever noticed Jennifer to be unfit with the children? I never met her. You've never met her at all? The only time I saw her, two seconds, was in, in summer of 2017, at some point in August. He had the, the, um, to have the kids with super device, and, and the judge gave her the information to have the kids in the pond and with a super device. And they were supposed to say they had to leave at 12. I don't remember what time it was from 9 to 12, the, the, the activity. And I called him because I was driving, did it, and he was already 12. And I called to say, I, I, did they let leave? And he said, no, 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 wait, don't come in yet, they haven't left. So I parked outside the, the pond in the road, in the, under a tree. And all of a sudden, a minute later, a suburban comes. Uh, it was dark, you know, I didn't see, and all of a sudden it gets really close, and I'm like, oh, so I hit my uh, mirror. And when I looked, Jennifer was with the, with the phone like this, trying to take a picture of me. So I saw, so I saw that, you know, and then I realized that it was her. So I went like this, like around her, and I went inside the phone. And I think there was a motion that I was supposed that I was in the pond there, which is not true. I was never in the pond. I was outside in public uh, oh. road. Yeah, okay. But she, for what focus told me, she made a motion that I, that Mrs. Tropolis was <coughs> in the pond and I saw the kids. Anyway, that's what focus told me. So I, I, I wanted, you have to have a shift in your thinking, okay? Who's the judge that's right here? Okay. Who's, who's, why is he here? He's, He's here. Whose interest is he serving? Mine. Right. We actually are trying to kind of serve yours as well. But Jim. Yeah. And Jennifer. Okay. Um, whose interest is Fola's serve? What? Who's, who, who's Fola's interest in? 
himself. In himself. So everything that Fotis has told you is suspicious. I'm not saying everything's a lie, but everything is suspect. And probably a lot of it is false, and it's to serve himself. So you have to listen first to your attorney, and then you have to listen to us through your attorney. That's You're right. trying to write. So when you, when you talk about things that Fotis has told you, you have to really suspect the wise Okay, so who is Fotis good friends? Who are his best friends? Is like right hand here. Mark. Mark, yes, he lives in Providence and they went to Rome together, but they met way before because of the water ski yeah. world. And they, I think, what is said in well, they're friends yeah. from like 18 years old. Uh, Andreas, the last name, is yeah. great. Um, it's just. Okay. Is he on the people? Is he here? Is Andreas? No, 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 he lives in Greece. Andreas was here. Uh, like you know, in December. Well, here's what I'm trying to get. At. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying you have any information about specifics in general, okay. but if Otis wanted to first kind of get something, and he didn't want help or he needed help, who might he use to help him? Well, his best friend is Mark and Andreas. Andreas lives in Greece. Okay. Mark, I guess he's Mark here. Lives and Mark lives in Providence. Okay. And he's also going through a divorce, and they laugh about it because they say that they're going through the same. And he actually, oh, his trial, I don't know what they did. I don't know what they went to with it. I don't know about the court things. But uh, what he said that he was over with his case, with his divorce. And what about Kent? Kent is the lawyer right. of four Okay. So Kent focus on Kent. Business partners, he's a lawyer, it's his business. Well, Fotis always said Kent, Kent is a nice guy, I worked with him all my all my life, and he's did, not. Did you ever meet Kent's wife? No. Do you know if Fotis ever communicated with Kent's wife? Yes, they were communicating because supposedly, uh, which I think it's weird, they, the wife apparently put like a rape mm -hmm. case against Kent. Yes. And then Fotis, like a week, like or three weeks ago, told me that Kent and the wife want to go back. I'm like, well, how do they want to go photos, back? Has the photos ever talked to Kent's wife? That's what we're asking. That you would know. Is there a reason why you would do that? Or if photos would talk to Kent's wife? I don't know if they know each other. Well, they did met. Oh, they did? Oh, no. Did Fotis? Yeah, he was even inviting her to your house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In the last couple months leading up to when just before Jennifer went missing, to come over and be intimate in your house. He even been out with her at a bar, trying to work back to get Kent back with his wife. You know that I remember he saying, uh, uh, Kent wants me to talk to the wife, okay. so for them to okay. get, but they can't because he has a restraining whatever. You can't and have they cannot work. It's actually. So you're aware of it. Oh, yes, but I didn't know that he wanted to come. Right? No. He was asking her to come to your home, where you live with Phyllis, to be intimate with her husband, to, to be intimate with Ken. Yes, correct. Okay. With Ken. To be intimate with Ken. So, ah, no, Ken no. and his wife, no, 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 Ken and Ken's wife would be intimate in your home. Okay, yeah, so, sorry for that confusion. So, but I mean, that's again, you know, that's another thing about Phyllis that we have just found out. You didn't know about. There's always a little bit of truth. I knew in that the Kent was a divorce mm -hmm. or a so mystery. So there's always a little bit of truth for the lie. So he told you that a little bit of the truth was that he has to call her. And the full truth is that he was, he was still a little bit different motivation. He was trying to show you that he's not the person that you thought he was. Not always, and not, not in the important <laughs> stuff. Like, <laughs> where it's not <laughs> really important. Actually, it should be the opposite. That should be interesting. <laughs> it's a dumpster on 80 Mountain Spring. So, there was a dumpster on 80 Mountain Spring in that property. That was for sale. There was a dumpster there. No, no. Not now, but there was. Yeah, a long time ago. A long time ago. Any dumpsters recently? 
on that property? You have to clean up and last minute stuff. No, the way we've been always cleaning it for the last year has been between the cleaning ladies and us and me. But there's no dumpster on site for debris? There's no, no like a big dumpster? Yeah, like a regular, just, you know, no, uh, five are, yard no, dumpster. No, no, no. After the, because they after cost, the construction, they, they houses cost like, I don't know, like, I think by budget it's like $5,000 and That's they, too much for Polis? I don't know, I'm just saying that he puts it in a budget and that's what I see and then when the, everything, the construction is out, he returns them. I don't know, I don't, listen, I don't work for Fordham, I was helping him yeah. because I, ha I was, I have my rugs, I have my, my daughter and it's just because I have time to do things and I, I cannot be just sitting around. But uh, he doesn't pay me, I wasn't an employee, I did help him with photos, with all that because I like that. Okay. So you guys live in a way this, right? You guys have this house, you guys no, we, I you don't have separate? separate. Do you give you money regularly? The only see? thing I yeah. have is a credit card that I use for supermarket and, and gas. Then, if I have to buy something for the court, for myself, my insurance, my cell phone, my expenses of my home in Colorado, my Nicole school, if I do my hair, that's all. That's, that's all my money. money. What is okay? I forty percent when we travel, yes, he pays it for the travel for, for the tickets. Right. But then the rest, like when I'm in Colorado, I pay for everything. We don't have bank accounts together. I only have a credit card. I can give it to you. I don't need one anymore. If you don't, I don't get to. Right, on any given week, this is how much do you have a savings and a checking, or is it you, you would be, yeah. Like, how are you financially? You're on your own. I'm on my own with me. Very, very good? Or you just, no, you know, me and I can say there's been times I live paycheck to paycheck. It is what it is. No, when I'm, no, are you? When I'm complicated, I ask my mom. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. I don't mind. No, we're, we're just trying to get a handle on the relationship. The dynamics of your relationship. Exactly. And, no, we don't have anything in common, nothing. So when, when Flores goes to visit the children, and he goes for a supervised visit, um, Jennifer is usually in the area or there. So again? When Flores goes to visit in his Canyon. children okay. out in New Canyon, and um, for the supervised visits, and Jennifer is there. How does that make you feel? Yeah. From my understanding, they couldn't, they weren't talking or sending messages or nothing for the past two years. It's always been with the supervisor, and for what he tells me, it's like, oh, she didn't give me the kids because instead of one, it was two, you know, and apparently it's always chaotic. That's what he always told me, and that they only communicate with a family yeah. wizard. Plan with that because it's seen by everybody, <laughs> and if it's through mail, it's they copy paste the CC their lawyers, and I think me. That was a communication that he always said that he had. Now after that report, they, for what he told me, they started having communications by phone. Mm -hmm. That she called him and she was like, "Well, I want to fix this." This is not working out, this has taken too long. This is what he told me. Mm -hmm. but, uh, then he said that apparently in one of the conversations, he said, Do you know that your lawyer is milking you? Because, I mean, this report was to be favored to you, and he was the one who wanted her to be in the case. And he was the one pushing uh, for me to go to New York and talk. And I was the one, I think, he, for what he told me, he put a motion to not have her. So apparently she said, like, yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. I think I'm bringing a friend of mine that is a lawyer. And that apparently, same what he said, that Jennifer was getting, I was like getting it, that it was the name of Ruben, I think it's the name of his former lawyer, yeah. was, was kind of like, you know, at taking advantage of the money and making this case long. This is what Flotis told me. That was like a one day of conversation. Then apparently they went to a Fotis had the kids on a Saturday and they went to a fair in New Kenya, where they have rides and all that, with the supervisor. And apparently Jennifer went with them. 
So I don't know if that's what he told me. Uh, me, my, my obsessiveness was that she's manipulating, she knows she's some of the foster kids, be careful, because if she really has borderline and depression and all the things that the report, supposedly for what he said, is true, she's playing you for this. So let the legal stuff work. Now you have the power to work with the legal system. If that's true, that the report is okay, and that and Mihan was saying, I'm concerned about the kids, I want, this is all what fault is. I never spoke with Mihan, I never spoke, I've never seen the judge, I've never seen Ruben, I've never seen any of these people. And because it was so like, no, no worry, it's been nice, she's actually being very nice, she's being cooperative, I'm like, okay, this is, I said, I want to talk to the therapist, because this is not normal. For me, she's making like a plan. And we went to talk to Henry two times. Together or separately? Together. Focus. And I with Henry sitting in front. And he's in West Hartford, Henry. And I, we explained the situation. So he said, Michelle, you stay out. If the kids come to the house, you don't mention Jennifer, don't talk bad. But try to do your best to, and if the kids mention, this and focus, you have to like uh, manage the situation and you thought you have to deal with the, with all the divorce and everything. Okay. What I didn't know, and I told Andy yesterday, I think, the Wednesday before she disappeared, that Friday, he goes supposedly to Grace Farms. When he goes to Grace Farms, usually we cook, I help him cook the food for the kids. That day I had to pick up Nicole, so I said, go to buy food in Bacapo. So apparently he called Bacapo and ordered salad and I don't know what else. And he goes, so in my mind, Grace Parks. I go with Nicole and Kim and Lauren, a friend of Nicole's and the mom, we go to Ichigo to a Japanese restaurant in West Hartford to eat. I <coughs> and then we went to Icicles and I get home at say, 9.30. He was already in the house. And so how was it? How was the good? The kids go good. We play basketball. It was amazing seeing them. They all say hi. Okay. That stayed there. On Saturday or Sunday, when he's talking to Jacob on the phone, Jacob said, Follow this. You have to be very precise how you write, like a timeline. That's why we started writing the timeline. Well, because it's just interesting that Hartford wasn't in the timeline. Huh? And it's just interesting that Hartford was not in the timeline, talking trash. That's pretty interesting. No, no, but this is, no, no, wait, but let me go I'm back. just throwing it out there. This is kind of why I'm wrong. Okay. Okay. Uh, Jacob says, write down exactly where you guys did on Wednesday night if you went inside Jennifer's house. And you're like, what do you mean? Like, in my mind. And for this goes, no, I did not go in. And he said, make sure, where did you guys eat? And he was like the super, and he was in Puebla, the supervisor. I think it was someone else that day. I don't know. And I'm still listening to him. I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm going to Jennifer's house. Like, he didn't tell me that. He told me he was going to Grace at a farm. Mm -hmm. So when well, all this conversation, and what he was like, no, I didn't. But yes, I have the kids. We play. I don't have a hair with me. And I'm still like, but why is I don't understand the house, Jennifer, Grace. So when they hung up, obviously my mind I started getting very angry. And I'm like, focus, where were you on Wednesday? Because you told me you went to Grace. Oh, I didn't tell you I went to uh, Jennifer, she bought a base um a basketball arrow or whatever it's called. And we ate outside. <coughs> why did you tell me? Like, why you have to hide that? Well, oh, because maybe I don't know. You can get it uh, annoyed. You can get worried. So have you been worried, worried in the past, or is it just that one time? Like, no, that one time because I'm supposedly they never had contact. Okay. And I got so upset. I grabbed the phone. I threw it against the floor and I said, "Okay, 
I mean, you're very, you're very, you're, you're being very res disrespectful for me. And I walked away. He goes, Michi, no, 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 come, let's talk. I, I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. And he goes, please, let's talk. And let me tell you what happened. I don't want to hear it. I'm, I don't want to know anything about it. It's enough. And I go to Nicole's room. That was the conversation after Jacob, which I don't know if it was a Saturday or, or Sunday. We can stop it right now. And he goes, please, let's talk. And let me tell you what happened. I don't want to hear it. I'm, I don't want to know anything about it. It's enough. And I go to Nicole's room. That was the conversation after Jacob, which I don't know if it was a Saturday or, or Sunday. Told the forest told you we did not go into the house on Wednesday? No, he told me that the kids say hi, that everything was fine, that they had a nice time. He wasn't precise about the place. Mm -hmm. Were you saying something about hair? What were you saying about hair? Jacob was saying, write down everything as you were by the time you spent in, that, in Jennifer's house. Where did you eat? Did you put any plate inside the house? Did you, do you remember going to the bathroom? And Fawlty said, no, I did not. My father said that to Jacob. To Jacob. To Jacob, they were in the house. Yes. Yeah. And did then he said, he said, did he hear about it? Because he said, well, Jacob, I don't know if maybe a hair running because we were playing, we were hogging, and maybe in the kids' clothes. Was he, was he bald at that point? Yes. She had his whole body behind the hair. Yes. Yeah. That's what Jacob told him to write down everything that happened on Wednesday. Well, and yes. Do you know if he did write it down? Mm -hmm. The one we wrote <coughs> and, like rapidly was the one on Friday. Okay. Rapidly? Well, no. Rapidly, rapidly was. was huh? well, why, why was Harper missing from that on uh, Friday? On uh, Friday, what would you have seen to miss Harper? Both of you. When we that's pretty clear that he's dumping trash all over the city and not have it in your mind to say, you know, we weren't Harper dumping trash. I that know. is not there. And that's one thing we pressed you on after your arrest. You actually finally gave it to us. Can I show you yeah. that one? Can you show yeah. the one I gave you? Or is that not supposed to show it? Yeah, I mean, the yeah, idea that they're saying. Or even when it's all this is right, it's like Hartford. Okay, I don't that's know. a pretty I important. Didn't... That's where we found everything. Okay, that's I know, uh, but I didn't... That's what led this to you now. I know, that's why I'm and that's, true. It looks bad. It looks bad. It's a good for you after any. Or we had a good one for you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, because what I did, I went through my AT&T AT account to my daughter's well, no, sorry. To my daughter's phone, my mom's phone. So in between information of the people that I know I talked that day, I said, please send me screenshots. I forward them to Andy because my mother was not have it. And I went and then I went because I was, I, I don't remember, like, I'm in so shock, I don't remember. So I said, why you spoke with my mom 16 minutes? So I called, I mean, my, my mom is here. I said, mommy, what did we talk about? And she said, we talked about you coming to my yard. Sure. Sure. This was like three hours before. Yeah. So red. So bone? Yeah. So red. Red beans. Yeah. Yeah. Red dot. So we are, looks like we're at 220. I mean, I don't know what you're going to call it, but I just don't think you, I don't think you're going to call it. I don't think you're going to call it. I just, I don't think you're going to call it. I don't think you're going to call it. She writes, she's very adamant about Starbucks and lost Hartford. Why, if I was going to dump me, if I was going to go around the city with Richie Clangel was wanting on a mission to dump all of our trash over the city, I would have that from this time. It wouldn't have just slipped my mind. We're going to do it one day, too. We are. Unless, unless she's legitimately on the phone, talking and texting, and she's not paying attention. Right, yeah. I mean, and then she's outside they, the car, dropping up, she's coming with me. She right? does? She's, yeah. She was outside. She was open. Her door was open. She's outside. She's on the ground. 
her store there, and she dropped a couple and she realized it was sick. She yeah, she wanted to go and eat that. Pick up a couple and she dropped. She said that, that was, was the one first thing in the world. Yeah. After dropping so she, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's, maybe she is, but maybe you know, I think there's a bit of self preservation too. Yeah, right, because she's thinking of all the time. But to have a point, the Harford thing was not any of this. And it, Correct. Sure we had a press on the orange. And we did not find it. Tell me, show that picture. We didn't find any notes of the 22nd, which is what the attorney told us we recreated with. And he said Wednesday for photos. What we ended up finding was Friday, Friday and Saturday for both of them. Right. Well, but well, Harford's not an evening either. Why? You know why? Because they didn't think it was right now. They didn't think we were smart. But that's just the question. <laughs> now we found out. It doesn't look the book. That's why he shaved his head. He was his phone. We didn't think about, you know, nothing in the trash, leave his phone on that. Right. And then I, I believe, I just agree with you. I'm sorry, just to cover that. Sometimes we're area is more up and all the goods, right? I already have. So that's why we're there. Wait, that's it. We were at this level. No, it's basically the next. Or, oh, that. Yeah. That's what we came for. We're, we're still here. We, 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 let's take it for a hike tomorrow. Let's go for a while. Yeah, let's go for a hike. Why not? So, what do you think about that Miss Hartford story? Well, here's the thing. Yeah, the, the guy in Miss Hartford. Did, but here's the thing. I mean, honestly, I don't know. Ah, she's great. Right. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Another thing, I don't know if this it helps the uh, when Friday on on Tuesday in the morning when we meet before going supposedly to New Canada, he also thought he's also said to Pare, write a timeline. And Pare said, Why well, have to write a timeline? No, I have I memorized everything. I know it by so Fotis was making us make timelines. Of that day, I don't oh, know. Oh, oh, which day? No, no, it Friday, no, Friday. No, Friday. Friday. Because. But Pavel questioned, like, why do I have to do this? Yes. He, he was confused? Oh, yes. Oh, and this was in the kitchen. So no. Pavel was there. There was the three you had a conversation. This one was the picture. Yes. And which day was this? Do you remember? Uh, Monday was Memorial Day, no? So this was Tuesday. Tuesday, the following Tuesday. Yes. Okay. When Javier, I guess, came to the office or at some point during the morning. That's normal for him to come to the office. Yes. Like, routinely, he shows up, goes to the office. That's normal. No, no, this wasn't in the office. This was in the kitchen. Is it normal for Javier to be in the house like that? Yes, Normally? because he takes the keys okay. that it's in the drawer yeah. to pick up the car that he's taking and where's, usually we're sleeping, he comes in. Where does he leave his keys? Does he ever leave his keys at the house? No, you guys in are... his car or okay. inside his bedroom. I'm just trying to figure out patterns of behavior, that's all. Yeah, uh, and for this, did say, right, he, he said, I'm here, and I said, no, no, no. I have it in my mind. I don't need to write anything. That's that I remember yeah. happening. So yes, for this wanted us to do a timeline because supposedly Jacob told him. Did this is what tell you what? Hey, you know what? Do the timeline, but don't say anything about Harford about drama trash. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what you asked me. Uh, no, he said let's do a high You know, Scarlett like Yanni. Wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I came up with the same question you did, so I feel smart. No, I just said, yeah, like write what you what you did, so we, you don't forget. He kept saying that, like write what you did, so you don't forget. Did he go over it with you after you had written? No. Did you guys, you know, he compared notes with you? Did he guide you in writing that? No, idea. but he did go like, okay, what's the highlight? Like, we ain't. The same highlight here might have like, been dropped off trash. But he's telling you, hey. So no, yeah. no, he said, hey, so at what time do you eat? And then said, I don't know, 12, 1, uh, 2. But you put, well, you're telling us tonight you did not see Fullest in the morning, correct? You wrote well, it. This, is, this was like on Sunday when you wrote it. 
This right, is when you're, when you're right at that time. Right, so you're right in the timeline that you saw all this in the morning. You guys took a shower together. You guys had breakfast. In this interview today, you haven't seen him. So what I'm asking you is in the original timeline. You saw all this stuff. Yes. Mm -hmm. In your notes. The, the point the point Michelle is being made is that when, right. when you and John and I first talked, you told us you got off and you took a shower with photos. You guys had breakfast and a lot of this stuff is in the timeline that that, that photos were right. 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 Now now you've changed that for right. a show. So we're trying to see if you probably yes. Who wrote this? Detective Kimball, I paused the video at 226.36. Could you just indicate for the jury what you're showing the defendant at this point? I am showing her a photograph on my phone of a timeline that we believe was written by Otis Google's. Okay, and um, if I can just have states. 74 and 75. State 75. You can just uh, take a look at that. Go to State 75. This is a single sheet, double sided, handwritten uh, timeline for Friday the 24th and for Saturday the 25th, 5 <coughs> 2019. Does that appear to be a photocopy or an original? This appears to be original. And is that what you were showing the defendant on your phone? A photograph of this, yes. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. A photograph of this exhibit, is that right? That is correct. Okay. Could, could I just ask the witness to just hold that document up so I don't have to come up there, just pull it up me so I can see which one it is? Thank you. And actually, I'll ask you to show it to the jury as well. <laughs> Both side? Yes. Did the defendant, um, you've indicated that you interviewed the defendant also in August, is that correct? Correct. And um, did you show the defendant a handwritten or a photocopy of a handwritten timeline in August? Yes. Okay. And then you state 74. When, and before you open it, did the defendant identify which timeline she had written to you? Yes. I'm going to ask that you take out that timeline and show that to the jury, Mr. Sean. Okay. <coughs> Which of these three documents did the defendant identify as having been written by her? These two. Okay. Directing your attention to the document that's in your uh, right hand, can you just uh, hold that up for the jury? Okay, John. 
Yes. Yes, could you just somehow identify that since there's three separate sheets in that same envelope, which one, please, for the record, please? This is a photocopy of a handwritten timeline beginning at 6.40 a.m. That's, that's enough, I think. And um, I'm actually going to ask you if you could just indicate to the jury the last time entry on that timeline which the defendant entered. Last time entry is 5.10. Is there any mention of dumping trash in that timeline? There is not. Pick the video back up at 22636. Sister, did you write this? Code? No, that's not what I heard. Okay, last well, one I'm asking. How about this? Did you write that? That's not what I Do you recognize that anywhere? No, you... Okay, so so Saturday looks like photos wrote the Saturday document? Saturday. Okay, I'm just like labeling it for the video. So Saturday. 525. That looks like photos is handwritten with you. Mm. Is that okay? And I'm only showing parts. This also that's not your writing? No. My right. Right. Just, okay. <laughs> just okay. So photos wrote Friday and Saturdays if you Of his timeline, not mine. Well this is actually it has elements of both of you. Right. And of he wrote it, not me. Okay. I think that's not my well, that's why I'm right. right. We were asking because photos is a where very fast that he's wrote in because it's writing it doesn't say I, it says oh, wow. it says okay. Michelle. Like, Michelle, where would your letter be? Yeah, can I show you? No, did you want to roll with John? The one that you wrote no, um in the with, with that step for the Tuesday. Did you leave it at the house? He photocopied and he put it in a bag in, in a written? suitcase. Yes. In a bag in a black suitcase okay. with a computer of the young. Put the computer for only in that. You said you made a photocopy of the letter you wrote. Where did the original letter go? You said you made a copy of it, and you took the copy of the thing. Where's the letter? The letter yeah. is the one that I gave you. Sure. That's the one you wrote with the other attorney the day after. I didn't write anything with me. No, you wrote it with, you wrote it because. Because Fotis told me that Jacob yeah. said, right. right at time. And right. you have your original, you have it? And I have. We should get it to us. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what I was wondering if you left your original layer or what. That's, that's no, what I was asking. I was no, thank you. Now we got it. And I took it with me, and there was a copy supposedly. Maybe there's not. Did you find my copy? 
I don't know if I wasn't there, so I can't really give any answer to that. So. Okay. <laughs> you talk about Bob's Andy Loomis. Why uh, is he up? Well, because he was there on Tuesday or Wednesday for a day. Okay. You had what's the last time? Before. Before. Before Jennifer was missing or the Tuesday after Memorial Day? I think it was before. Before. And prior to that time, when was the last time you saw Andy Lewis? Is it frequent he comes by? Or? He used to work, work for four yep. Yeah. Um, he was hired, full time job. Mm -hmm. When I was in Colorado, apparently for this set, um, Andy, I cannot pay you. Right. I didn't know until I arrived because I, I asked him. Where's Andy? How long ago was that? What? That you're talking about? No, this is in March. March. Well, yeah, this is good. So back in March, Andy Lewis is gone. <laughs> with the business. Since with the from, business. From four You From four Yes. Since March till Jennifer's disappearance, does is, is Andy come around often? Do you see him? How was his, his relationship with uh, Lewis? Was, was work. Because already he has a better... <laughs> Stronger relationship because he knows Pablo Pablo to be the one that will do his walls yeah. of the house, so he will be like an independent contractor. Yeah. And then for this, hire him to be like a project manager. Yeah. I mean, no, Pablo. Pablo. So well, what I'm asking is from March. Let's say he goes in the business. Yes, I probably saw the last time you saw it? Yeah. maybe three times more in my life. Was that unusual that he was there on that Tuesday? No, oh, he okay. forgot what this he said. I call Andy, so he, and he pays him by the day, I guess. I don't know. Okay. But I call Andy to help me work on the Pablo Luis uh, budget. Okay. <laughs> Does Lewis and uh, Pablo debate their fight together? I don't know if he just brings them back. You guys have a lot of property. But it's tight, the phone that yeah. is right. It, and if you can see, it's, it, it's mine. It's okay. under my name. Is he going back there with any friends other than you? Two. And Pablo, you and Fonus go back there. I only treated Moto Pavel only one time. One time? That was this road. Okay. This big road. Only one time, and that was like three weeks ago. What was it? I don't mind. I thought I'm just kind of losing track here, but the, the, the 15 times. What with Focus and me. Smaller room. Gotcha. All right. I don't want to get of the fifteen times. Some of them. There was one or two of the big ones. Gotcha. gotcha. Right. And then you mentioned Pavel goes back there too. Only one, Only one time, time, time with me. With you. That you know. I, that I know, and I think he posted for what his impression was. That my impression that I got from him that he'd never been there before. Was it just you and him, or Phyllis was there as well? When we went, okay, so when you guys did that, did you stop and no. take in the sights anywhere and walk around, or you, you just, just go? I mean, you yes, I was talking, like if I fall, if bodies fall, which with the three of us we fell mm -hmm. at some point in one of the. But you didn't stop and spend time in a certain area, which you just rode and fell down the road. Yes. So after Friday, the 24th, mm -hmm. what was. Has he been on his dirt bike back there? Has he been going back, right? He's doing this? Not that I know. Okay. Me? He came back from the backwoods, dirty, you know, mm -hmm. sweating. When he photos dirt bikes, does he wear anything on his hands? Yes, he does. What does he wear? And we just got him in Miami. You did? What kind of gloves were you? Yeah. Uh, what brand? Yeah, well, what color? Yeah. Yeah. What are they? It's like rubber? Are they leather? Uh, <laughs> mine are le leatherish, and it has protections here. Mine. Okay. And I think he bought the same like mine. Okay. I think. So black leather gloves? Or grayish. Either two. Yeah. No, because he just bought them. He used to use my bicycle. That are gray with black. That are Trek. They have any markings or any like Trek. Trek. The brand Trek. They were my. Oh Trek. Trek. 
my bicycle gloves because at some point he lost his gloves and I gave him my bicycle gloves. But those are not moto gloves, they're bicycles. Right, so they don't have that. They don't have no, okay, you have the fingers, they don't have the protection for the moto. Okay, what, when did you lose those gloves? No, later. What brand are these pink gloves? She's not sure. I don't know, it can be Fox, it can be KTM. The equipment of the KTM, I got it, I got it to him when he, when he bought the moto as a gift. The black pants with the stripes and an orange shirt. Um, <coughs> The photos are generally wear black leather gloves when you go The new ones that he got, if they're not leather, they're kind of, but they're more like a, not neoprene, but they're like a little bit stretchy. So we talked about what happened Saturday after Jennifer went missing. Um, what did you guys do on Sunday? Sunday? Yeah. Sunday, um, he went to see, to meet Eugene, supposedly. Who's Jean? Eugene? Eugene, his lawyer. Me, at 11, I was having brunch at La Salle in Polensville with Nicole, Hatch, Aaron, Quinn, and Jules. Quinn and Jules are their daughter and son. We ate there. Then we probably stay, stay there like an hour, an hour. Then I took Nicole to a place that they sell. I gave you the receipt. I don't remember the name. Something Jake Cake or something mm -hmm. like that. So she got a, a muffin in a, like a popsicle, a cake pop, popsicle in Canton. And then I went, we went to the pond, Nicole and I. We relaxed, we stayed there. A, Sorry, in the morning I prepare a Greek salad because we were going to do a, a eat at the pond. Mm -hmm. uh, so I did that in the morning, sorry. Then I went to eat brunch. Then we went to buy the oil, or popsicle, whatever this thing is. We went to the pond. We stayed there all day. I water ski. That I wasn't in the mood, I couldn't, but I had said, go, come on, I was crying. So he said, go, go, go. So Hutch and Greg got in the boat. He said, do you want me to do, you want to do the course? He said, I'm not, my head is not to do the course. I just want to free ski. So I free ski. Then the boy was hungry. We went to the marketplace. We had lunch. We came back to the pond. Nicole invited a friend. But that brought Charlotte, Nicole's friend. They were paddle boarding. I was just hanging there. At some point, Fultis arrived. He water skis. Uh, then Aaron gives me a menu to order pizza. So, what type of pizza I order? A salad. I wasn't really hungry. I order a pizza for Nicole and the friend. Aaron goes and gets the pizza, <coughs> comes back. We all ate. It was Aaron, Greg, Hodge. Full this Charlotte, Nicole, and I. Aaron is much wife. Yes. And then by probably eight, we left to the house. Maybe a little bit earlier. Whose idea was it to have brunch? Uh, Hodge. Hodge wanted to have brunch. Oh, no, 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 wait. They were going on a bicycle ride, and they said, you want to go? I said, no, what doesn't do 20 miles of bicycle? So I'll go in the car. I didn't want to stay in the house, that's the truth. Why? Oh, I was scared. I was, like, scared. worried. My love. Jennifer disappeared, and like, if she's going to come, and she's going to, like, kill me and Nicole. That's what was in my head. You thought Jennifer was going to come and kill you and Nicole? One of the thoughts, yes. That was one of my thoughts. What would make you think that you've only seen her once and that was hard to car? Because apparently she had all this illness and for what Foti said that she was very angry, she was throwing motions every time. So I, I always felt, and I actually one time 
went to a police like a year ago and put a I went to the to the court, but this is like a year ago, and said I'm worried about my safety of me and Nicole. But the police said that and I have that paper in the house so, mm -hmm. and you can check it. I don't know if that's a record. <laughs> but this is like a year ago. Can't help me do it. Because this is because all because of all the stuff that before is told you. Yes. I'm like, okay, this woman is gonna find and kill me because I'm Are like okay, so you're so you're at the league and you so the photo shows up. Yes, and he said I spent time uh, because he went to New York. Did he get That's why he told me to see his daughter? And the police was there, he called the police, he posted me an hour, he couldn't see the kids. His, oh. So oh. he told me he called the police and the police came in New York City. Maybe the police got called on him. Okay, I don't know. Oh, and what was his, did he get to see his children? What was his look like when he came back? He was supposedly concerned. But he wasn't not crying. And he was he angry? Concerned, angry. About concern and angry. he couldn't take the kids because in his mind he was gonna bring the kids. He told me I'm gonna bring the kids. Okay. So he didn't come with the kids. I guess that's why he was upset. Angry, concerned, I don't know. Which one is it? I don't know. Um, maybe he was upset. Did he indicate to you he was upset? I could spell. Now I know. You've been with him? Yeah, when I saw, yes, I saw his face, he was like uh, upset, like disappointed. Did you ask him any questions? Yes, and he said, What happened? No, I didn't see them. I know that they have, they, they have a bodyguard. The police came. Uh, uh, one of the police came down and said uh, that there was a bodyguard. That's how he knew. Um, that Lauren and two other people were there, so he never. He told me he never knew what the other people were. Um, and then I think he met Eugene. That's why he was, for what he told me, five hours, six hours, maybe more. And at any point, so when you two initially greeted each other, what is good? Ah, so I say hello. Yeah. Were you be friendly? I mean, was it? Oh, I hugged him, yes. Okay. Did you say anything to him? Jokingly or otherwise? Uh, I, say, I think I told him I love him. I hug him. I'm like, did you see that? And then I asked him, did you see the kids? And then he said, we were all sitting there. It wasn't only just me. It was Aaron was sitting there. And... No, no, no. If we did, we wouldn't be here right now. Okay. But did, did you ask him if he thought that you two would be able to have sex in jail? Mm -hmm. Yes. I said that as a joke. Why would you say that as a joke? Because he said the police put up arrest me in New York, and I said, well, if you get arrested, can I have, how do you know that? Well, well, they talked to other people who heard yeah. it. Well, Greg was there. Greg, uh, Aaron, and I think Hodge. We were all there in the, in the grass. So the jail crime was about what just happened in New York? In New York? Yes. Okay. Bye bye. <coughs> You mentioned a girl named Kim earlier, is that Kim Rose? Yes. That's a mom? I know she is. Of Laura? That we went out. She's, she's the cousin of uh, Mike Rose, the attorney. Yes. Yes. No, you know why I think I said that? I think someone said, Go, go, you could go to jail because the first suspect is the hospital. I think now what you're saying. I okay. think someone said that, and I said, as I joke, because I'm usually stupid and I joke, I said, well, oh, can you only, can you have sex in the, in the, in the jail? And we all laugh. That's how that joke became a well, stupid joke. I'm sorry about that. Okay. Well, so okay. the search warrants were done. Which we'll search? On the houses and your phones and everything. Well, and your, and your, and your, the swabs. The swabs. Your fingerprints. Remember when all that was in the night? Yeah, Sorry. I know. Remember when all that stuff was done? So they've done search warrants on the house that you lived in. But before that, they did you we guys did the, yeah, did the body. Yeah. Yep, you went in photos, right? Yes. They took your cell phones. Yes. So after all that was done, mm -hmm. did he have a conversation with you as to why? Why what? It was done. 
What did, what did he yeah, say to that? I was upset. I'm like, why? And I, did you talk to him? We were staying, he got a hotel, <laughs> and we were actually staying, he took, he got two rooms, he's, and I said, no, I'm sleeping with my mom and we go in. I'm not sleeping with you. So we said, okay, please then sleep with you guys. And I said, yeah, the sofa. So me, Nicole, and my mom, we've been sleeping in the bed. He slept in the sofa outside, but because he had the lights on, he closed the door. Obviously, I was with Nicole, you know, putting her to sleep, hugging her, whatever you do as a mom. He wanted to go and rent a car because I had to come here and see Andy. I said, and he said, I'll take you, I'll take you. I'm like, no, Andy said, and I call Andy. I said, Andy, is it good that Fotis come to me or with me? Then he drives me, he said, I'd rather not, I'd rather have you come alone. Mm-hmm. And I kept saying, and he said, no, 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 I'll go with you, I'll go with you. And did he come with me? Well, I know you came down at the end. We didn't come, and we came to the hotel. We went to rent the car in Enterprise because he was pushy. He rented this blue that is it's still there, the car in the hotel. He drives the blue car. Wait. Well, I don't remember if I blew, I drove the blue or he. I don't know, we drove the two cars back, the, the Yacon, Yukon. Michelle, and the... just to, before you go, what I think Allison asked you is, oh, sorry. did you ask him, hey, why the heck is all this happening? Yes, I mean, when he all said, the time. He he's like, said, I don't know, I don't know, but everything is going to be fine, don't worry, don't worry. I'm like, what do you mean? There's Jennifer missing, we don't know where she is. We're like sleeping in a hotel. Home, I have to bring my mom. Yeah. Like travel all the way here, and Nicole is like in, in, in the middle of the exams, which I was concerned telling Andy. It's like too much. Like and, and, and like what's like what's gonna happen? Like my my question is always what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Because I don't know what's gonna happen, and I still don't know what's gonna happen. And he kept saying it's okay, stay strong, it's gonna be okay. Like that's what he kept saying to me. And I'm like, okay, but it, I was upset. Was he talking, sorry, was, was he talking to anybody? Wife, was he talking to with, uh, with you, phone call with to, 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 uh, to, to the guy from uh, New Fairfield, whatever the guy's name Harford. was? Harford. Was he talking to Nick? Was he talking to Mother? No, was he right, to I don't know. No, but when he's with you, is he on the phone talking to anybody? Yeah, no, he's talking all the time on the phone. And he was, each time that you guys took the phone, he would go, his first mission was to go and get a phone. Which, my, uh, even my mom said, why? And he got two phones, and there's two phones. And, and who got a new phone? phone. Huh? Who did he call to, to, to give his new number? Sorry? Who did he call? He got a new phone. To I, make sure that he said Jacob and no G. And, 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 and like me, my oldest speak with my mom phone, I just got a phone like two days ago. Like, I didn't even want to talk to anyone. Because Jacob says, if the police calls you, don't answer. They'll leave a message. Two times the police called me. And they left a message, I didn't hear them. And you guys have the phone? The voicemails are there. And then the reporter started calling. And I didn't want, and I'm like, I don't want phone. I don't want to talk to anyone. I don't want to be in this mess. I'm sure you don't. Sorry, definitely don't. I'm trying to help you guys with that. At any point, while well, all this is going on, did you at any point think that he did it? Well, this information, yes. No. That was, no. This, uh, that was, yeah. Before. That was before. Before you got arrested. Oh, be- before yes. the, uh, she disappeared? No. 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 Before. Because what this way, before Memorial Day. At any point. Well, um, it was probably after Memorial Day. I mean, you I started to see my. I did have maybe one, like all of those million questions because I said it can be the mom that wants it because supposedly the mom also is crazy and was in a psychiatric and tried to kill her. I like I have so so much information that maybe it's a lie. Did you get it from from Fotis? Okay. He told me that in the report it says that the mom at <coughs> committed almost suicide. 
But once she's doing suicide herself, did you ever actually see that report? No. Physically see it and read it? No. So this because, is just him? Because this report is in Mike Rose's office because supposedly it's sealed. But this is all what Fotis told me. I don't know if it's true or not. He told me that that woman at 79 tried to kill herself. She couldn't. And she ended up in a psychiatric for three months. That the sister who was bipolar was in 7,000 of treatment of medication. That Jennifer was by a borderline personality, depression, and a slightly eating disorder. Minimum. I don't know. This is all what he told so me. So, you're back. You're okay, so to the going question. back to this is your question. In your gut, in your mind, in your heart, in your stomach, based on what you know, not what we've told you, where, what do you think has happened to Joe? No, but what is killed, huh? That's what. So now, now your feeling is that what was killed? Oh, Jennifer. you're telling me? Okay, no, 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 now I feel yes. My God says yes. If, if you're, if you're, you're, were you married before, or were you just like a common child? No. So the mother, the mother of your daughter, father, the father of your child. I have a very good relationship. He's actually coming. Okay, good relationship or bad relationship? Yes. He goes missing. How do you react? If you, if, hypothetically, with, if, you, with, if, that, with if they said, hey, that, if the whole dad is missing, I'm in Argentina looking for you. Try to help. You leave the country and fly to Argentina. Of course. If you found out okay. that the father of your child was missing. Yes. Okay. Of course. And actually, he wants to call me. He's been okay. calling me every day. Okay. Well, Should I call me? Should I leave? Just listen to her. So, what was this? I assume the ex-wife goes missing. He, he gets an attorney who doesn't want to help and then tells everyone not to talk to the police. Would that you do that? That attorney said to me not to talk okay. to the police. Okay. Is that normal? Would you do that? Would you do that? I thought it was. Okay. I thought it was. In my mind, right. no. I agree with you. Yes, of course. Right. You're in it. You got television. They're all around you. I think it's going No, no, no. In my mind, if I would have been told this, I would have gone and be Did searching. Did you see that in No, I didn't. But because this has been two years of torture well, it was for what Fawlty told me. Yes, it was the divorce. Bad. I understand. Oh, my parents are divorced yeah. and, and they're together, like best okay. friends, and I never went to uh, That's right. torture like this. So that's rare. <laughs> oh, it's nice. Sure. It's refreshing. So, <laughs> we've been sleeping in the same room. I mean, they celebrate still the anniversary. Okay. How is that health for you? With the third of us Why do you mean? Why is that health for you? Because Fotis gets angry each time he comes from court. He's upset because on the weekends that obviously I cannot be with the kids. Mm -hmm. And because uh, Judge Heller, the last. Uh, Court order was that the kids spend a Saturday or Sunday, I don't remember which days, six hours in Farmington, so I have to move out of the house. So you're not allowed to be now? No, I can't. Okay. I cannot. Does that make you angry? Well, because I have to change. I have to look for plans on the weekend. That's absolutely. Go. Like so that's why I went one weekend place. to New York, I took Nicole to stop. Another weekend, I went to Boston. And I took her to the Ballet of Boston. Yeah. Uh, another weekend, we went to Rhode Island. So you and Nicole. Yes, yeah. and then Fotis appears at night so, because he spends time with the kids right. and then he sleeps at it night. It seems like your, your personal life is getting uprooted during these visits and you have to go elsewhere. And that's a huge inconvenience. Of course. And I'm sure it causes tension. My, my day by day life. And I'm sure it causes tension between Fotis and oh, I'm, 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 I'm divorced all of it. I'm divorced. I have a child and it, it's a big inconvenience. But, but we're, well, I'm just looking for that. Nothing for you, but maybe that's a motivator for Fotis to. He loves you and it's causing tension. God, no, but but God damn, what does he say about that? that I mean, be obviously, be he gets angry, right? So, what does he say about Jennifer? You know, that that I never, I never, yes, I never thought she was going to do this to me. I never saw her so, this side of her. And I, I Sometimes I hope she. And I'm not gonna, I've said that about my last situation. Yeah, Granted, like I, I, that in my head doesn't right. work because with me and Gaston, we call that. Right. We travel together, yeah. we do vacations together. That's, and that's like, the way it should be. That's wonderful co parenting. Right. Yeah, that's what that's the same for Jefferson. Two amazing. times with 40s and us. And we've been in Miami, the, the four of us together. 
What right. we call it, that's not fault is a need. That's wonderful culture. Like, in my mind, that's why I'm talking to you. Like, uh, for the what? For the so, oh, and I, I really yeah. like Gaston. He's a yeah. super nice guy. I mean, I mean, if I have to choose another father, I choose him a hundred okay. million times. I'm, I'm not going to change. That's the normal thing to say. That's normal. Yeah, I love him. I love him as a person and a father. Right. I talk. So. The photos didn't feel that way, Bob. No, no, she. You said that he said he wanted her to go away. It disappeared? Yeah, but I think it's just 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 some just. Just. You say, I say things in jest. No one thinks it's really going to happen. How many times I say, like, I want to kill myself? I could jump in work and I could say, thank God Johnny's not here. He's gone. Like, I wish, you know, we get mad at each other. In Spanish, there's a saying, and I say it all the time to my daughter, but don't arrest me for this. I say, I'm going to kill you. Yeah, you know so that's what I was saying before. Yeah, about four kids, I know. Right. And, and she don't, and so she people say that. Laugh. She's just like, how are you going to kill me? I'm going to kill you with all, a lot of kisses. Like, right. they're playing, like, right. like, I make right. a joke. But, right. I mean, yes, I, sometimes I say it. And, and yes, and for this, all this. Thinking about something is one thing that's important. I know, Actually. yeah, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to kill no one. Okay. Like, so, um, are you maybe tomorrow you can take these guys and show them with the moto? First, uh, we we'll have to do some coordinating through the water company while it's Yeah. Like there's a water company. Well, it's a reservoir property, so I'm not sure. The left here. But technically, you guys own that property? Uh, oh, no, so I, I figure there's some type of you know, regional water. water yeah, figure out so yeah. we gotta make sure we're going along in the right way. It's, right. it's, it's the DMV, yeah. something like Yeah, she thinks it's a permanent mark. Yeah, yeah. So we will just set that out on our end. So the word income. So in the yeah, yes. we'll figure that out. But the bottom line is that you'd be willing to go with some people to show us where you're talking about. The only thing that through the woods, we're gonna have to do it walking. It's gonna take you three hours, probably like two hours. Well, it's fine. For the cats, fine enough for a vehicle, but for, no. for a truck. For for the gravel, yes, the gravel is easy. <coughs> for its gravel, I heard the uh, power lines. Oh, well, it's like under the power lines, but it kind of have like another road. You ever road. Know those little gators of like this little mini vehicle full of dry vehicles? Yes. Or ATV? That fits. That Not way. in the woods, no, because there's a lot of I think, I think it should be walked. Yeah. But then it's slowly. Yeah. It's a long time, but yeah, it's not good for you. I'll call you guys. Yeah, it is. Right. But Andy, you come in with me. So oh, 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 no, 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 no. So we're moving. <laughs> Get it for her, and then you surprise her. That way, we'll try and get it done for you. 
But I don't think her eyes are open. Because if she goes and there is something, what's that going to be a good sight? Is the house like a mess, like upside down? I don't like, think so. Uh, it's pretty neat. Well, they, they just don't understand what they're saying. If there's something in there that is a surprise uh, and it's terrible, uh, you don't want yeah, it. Yeah, okay, okay. No, I'll go wherever it takes me. Okay. The most important is take her ski equipment out of there because she's going to Argentina and she's training. Listen, to listen, they just told you that okay. we're going together. Okay. Yeah, okay? So you're. It's very right. what, what, so I can plan ahead for those guys out there. I mean, what, what, what time frame would you be looking at? I just gotta make some calls. You know, yeah, but it's so late. Um, I, my only responsibility now is take me go to school. Ah, but I think you have the schedule. You should have school tomorrow. I don't know where to take my Can I ask my mom? Yeah. Or no. Well, if she has school, it's at, she starts at 8, so again, right. same, same, sorry, well, no. I don't have time after we finish the call. Yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah we'll, we'll, we have the guys there, I just want to get that. We'll, we'll figure out, give them the time when you're showing off, <coughs> talk to the state's attorney, this is good. You know, just build this escort her through whatever, get whatever she needs to get. And then we'll find a day where we'll do another little for a little higher. Is it going to be tomorrow? Hopefully. Well, my only thing is, is if we go on that. It's not saying that's what I mean. I'm just saying if we found something. Just in case. No. But this is what I But this part we can do in a car. Because I mean, we're not going to walk all this. This is going to take forever. Okay, I'm just late, so. Yeah, we're going to go. I lost already three kilos. This we can do in a car. This is the part that we need a, a moto or walk. Because this is in between the trees, there's a log. This part we can do perfectly in car, and this takes in car maybe five minutes. Well, there's a part that we go, I think, yes, we can. Does that enough for We'll get it figured out. Do you want to see if they want to do that? Yeah, I can call, I, they're, they're there, so hold the house, so. They just have to be a little swing in by the way home to get the stuff she wants. But I have to pick up Nicole at five. You better get going. Yeah. Where is she? It's part of In the school. You gotta go. You gotta go now. Well, I know, but I'm with you. No, but I'm saying, if we're gonna do that, let's do it. So, okay. I'll call up there. But, no, so we, we'll do it. We'll do it. Yeah, we'll fix that. We we'll, won't we'll do it today, we'll do it tomorrow. Yes. You're gonna pick her up, you're gonna be with her. <laughs> Don't spend her time with her tonight. Don't let, do that. Be a mom tonight. Tomorrow you drop her off at school. We'll figure the rest out. Yeah. Right. Because I'll work with the work to you. Perfect. And I don't want to, I don't want to. You think that house I'm not going to go with you? Is it okay? You can go with the house. But do you, you guys are going to ask me questions? No, 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 no. Nobody's going to ask you anything. No, you're going to get the stuff you want. You're going to get your stuff, aren't you? Isn't that what you want? Yeah, Nicole's stuff. And I mean, yeah. if I can take you to me, yes. Yeah. Okay, well, you want to talk to me when I ask you questions? Okay. We'll figure out what time. But I have to get the suitcase. Uh, all the boots, uh, the other side, we're going to have to walk. Yeah, like, keep oh, mind, you don't, you don't have to answer. Like, we're not going to be asking questions. We don't ever feel compelled like you have to answer. I mean, like, you can say quiet. If you yeah. Like, it's your right. Tell us to be quiet. If you want. Tell us, yeah. yeah. If you want no, complete no, silence, no, we're not going to say anything. No, no, no. It's your right. 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 If Andy's not there, they're not going to talk to you tomorrow. But we're not trying to do anything bad to you. We just want to find you in the front. If you can help us, that's fine. Okay, my fingers are going to stop. That's our end of us. You're done. You're ready to do it. You're helping us. You're helping us. And which we're walking with. No, but I see the movies that these are like the typical setups. No, no, there's no set. Have we treated you? Have we ever? Have we in the room here done something different than what we told you ever? Other than what we know, we took photos the second phone in that first day. No, we treated you well. We're not going to lie to you. We're going to lie to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Michelle. Yeah. Fair enough. Thank you. Yeah, go get her. Go get her. And then Andy will talk to you tomorrow and then tomorrow. Okay. You can go pick up stuff, okay? Okay. Thank you. Can I take this? Is mine? Yeah. Yes. 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 So you stay with the 15, first person. Yeah, yeah. You want your team to do that.